Hello, good morning. Corpse here with another Red Dead RP stream on the Wild RP server as Albert Groves are here with another uh, training session lined up with the Saints Crossing Transit Authority, which could very well be the the final like supervised training session I need to do before I can um, take trains out and do this sort of stuff solo. So, um, very exciting there. Um, so that is scheduled to start around, um, uh, in about half an hour at the latest. But I suspect that the, the trainer, Flood, that he'll be around sooner. Uh, so we'll jump on in, make sure we got enough apples and water and... Daily life essentials. And uh, we'll go from there. And um, hopefully it's it's a good outcome. Let's do it. All oh, right, that's right. Yeah, I spawn outside the apartment. Classic. Classic red dead. <laughs> uh, what have I got on me? Oh, yeah, I've got a bowl of stew ready to go. I need some water. Oh, i got some coffee. Maybe get some more apples just to be safe. Uh, how much money have I got on me? 27, 27 bucks. Where's the store again? <laughs> I should know by now. Or it's like, I do know, but then I, I think, do I know? Do I? Time to second guess yourself. How about a little self-doubt with your breakfast? Hello. Apple. Oh, that's right. Stacks of five. We count good. Yep. Five, five. Um... Maybe I should get a second water canteen. Just for times where... Like, I'm really out. Oh, but no, just go fill it in the river. Just go fill it in the river. Just drink from the river. The worst that could happen. Yo, Snuggles. Oh, God damn it. Thank you. I... I swear I clicked that, but thank you very much for telling me that, Snuggles. Oh, that's annoying. Must have... How did I miss that? Appreciate you. Hope you had a wonderful Friday night. Hope you, you're having a, a, a bloody ripper of a start to your weekend. Uh, I don't think I need anything else. I might want to... I'll probably want to bring... I'll probably want to bring binoculars with me, I think. In the middle of your D&D right now. And it's fun. Excellent. Love to hear it. Love it. Simply marvelous. I've got a load of washing in the machine. Got myself a smoothie to get me through the as much of the day as possible. I had to fight all the urge to order breakfast from McDonald's. I was like, no. 
Don't do it. You're being good. Uh, it's got... So I got this, like... I'm trying out this... This It's in Australia. It's like the man shake or something. Which is just like... It's just a thing to substitute meals with... You know, it's flavoring. So I got that. There's a bit of that. A scoop of that in it. An egg. Um, a banana. Um, and like a handful of like blackberries, blueberries, strawberries uh, in it. And then just milk to top it off. Which is, tastes pretty good. I don't have binoculars. Oh, no, I do. I've already got them equipped. So I'm attempting to yeah, substitute meals and cut soft drink as much as possible again. So I'll try and do like, I've got a bunch of like steaks and chicken and, and like really easy stuff to cook. And it's the ones that come with like, you know, they're already seasoned or they've got a nice sauce with them or whatever. So I've got those, so it's like at night, you know, just make something like that, like a really small, like it's just, it's a very basic portion. Um, oh, it's a very basic portion, and then just like, just try and have, like, finish a litre bottle of water twice per day at work. And then, yeah, just, um, and then just trying to, at other times, just have a smoothie with just stuff like that. And I want to be adding, when I do a bigger shop, I want to get, um... Is it muesli or whatever that you put in it, uh, spinach leaves, uh, and there's a few other things my friends recommended just to substitute meals. But the big thing is, you stop binge eating so much bad stuff and drinking so much soft drink. Like it really gets um, it really gets out of control. I really get carried away, and then it's just I'm just overeating all the time, and my body is just like, brah, please stop. You're like, why am I, why am I gaining weight? Gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because you're overeating like every day, and it's like you're pushing the limit of your, you know, your stomach. So, that's my current plight. What is my jacket doing? How majestic! I've got my conductor outfit on. I've got some binoculars. I've got some apples. I've got to fill up the water. I'll uh, we'll check the telegram just to check. But Flood seemed pretty confident about meeting me in about half an hour. I don't know where, though. Good day! Oh, what's that? I do believe on the Eastern line, 
Wallace Station would probably be the best option. No worries, Snuggles. Thank you very much. Your hat. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a. Uh, I'm going to be doing some train driver training in a minute. <gasps> you drive a train? I sh I shall be very soon. <gasps> Keep an where eye out. Gonna, where are you going to? Where are you going to? Where are we going to go? Oh, uh, hasn't been decided yet. I'm I'm going to be meeting with my supervisor very soon. Ooh, you have a supervisor? Yes, I, I still need to finish do uh, one more test before I can. Uh, take trains out all on my lonesome um but i would if i get my way i'll be taking it around the um, the eastern route Ooh, okay so keep an eye out hopefully yeah. it'll be happening within the next hour uh, how much is a train ride oh i think only just a couple of dollars if that but you might be lucky it might just be uh, on the house today we'll see all right like your mustache. Thank you very much. I groom it every day. Mustache more curly than. Might see you on the track later. Maybe I'll just take the initiative, and I'll just set up a route. I thought to say your mustache is bad. It's just less curly. That's all. No, that's fair. I. I... I understand and respect that. I generally avoid curling my mustache. Why? I prefer it not curled, I think. Well, imagine if you did have a curly mustache. <laughs> <laughs> think you'd look good with a curly mustache? I think, think like that. that would be very confusing. It might be. What's your name? Victor, you are? I'm Archie. Archie, it's nice to meet you. Um... <laughs> What's your name? Vivian. Okay, well, that's easy to remember. Yeah, yeah nice to meet you too. If you choose a thirsty, I'm the uh, I'm the foreign oh, hello. The howdy, howdy. How's it going? Doing well. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing all right. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just saying hello. No, you're fine. Oh, it's okay. Say hello. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Very nice. It's very red, but very nice. But uh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how to res I oh, don't no, know how it's to not respond. About, like it was bad. It's just it's, it is very red. It's like incredibly mm. red. Did you see that? I would choose tan 
personally, yeah, but I, I think that's really huge. Yeah, I really good word. I would recommend it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it, it's very red and very nice. Yeah, yeah because there you if you are. use a bus, it, it sort of means that half of the sentence is contradicting the other half. So if you said something... Maybe we'll go teeny greeny. Maybe a little olive, because having the flat helps for like when you're conducting from the. Yeah, let's go little olive. Little. Gotta do time conversion for American time. All right, well, I've taken the initiative and I've um, written up in the the billboard about what's happening. Oh, no. Growler, what are you doing over there, you cheeky boy? Oh, dear. Good morning, Hammer. How are you going?
So I did a, a I did a in the transit bulletin board. I put that it's a passenger train. We're going to be using Little Olive. Uh, that it's I, tra I converted it to American time, which is November first, as soon as possible after eight p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Departing Wall Station eastbound. Uh, that it's Albert Groves training with Flood, and that uh, generally all staff are welcome. I have my conductor uniform on. I've got my revolver. I've got some apples. I've I'll fill up water at a cleaner body of water. Um, uh, Flood should be on his way. So when I'm there, I will need to get a bag of a coal bag ready, fill it with like 30 or whatever coal. Uh, and then I go up to the tunnel. I uh, get the train out there as if it's the depot, like out of sight. Um, then I bring him back to Wallace Station, and then I need to send out a telegram to Transit, Law, Rangers, and Medical, just to be like, you know, we're going to be running this train for the next, you know, hour or so. Um, and then I need to... I'm forgetting bits and pieces. But it should be alright, because I told them that, um... I told them that I'm just a little... Hazy with some of my memory of the transit stuff. Because, because y'all was away for a couple of weeks doing... Two, working two conventions back to back. So they, they, they should be, they should be, um, cool. I just might, yeah, if I don't, if I don't pass this ride along, I'll just need to do a couple more... You know, shifts where I'm helping others, refreshing, and then do it again. But it should be right. A lot of it's common sense, and it's not a it's not a race either. I need to check my route. And check the switches. So at Wall Station eastbound. So there it goes. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. Goes through Ansberg, and then we need to check. That's fine. Yeah, because we're coming from that way through Saint Denis. Wait. Where's the switch for here? Trolley. Where's that one? Where's that switch? Where's that switch? Or does it not have a switch? And then we'll want left. Yeah, we, we want left. So I just want to go like around, around as far as possible. That should, yeah, that should be fine. I just need to inquire about this switch. Because I don't want it to accidentally go up here. Up to Emerald. Oh dear. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder. Good morning, Shelby. Hey. Whoa! Hey, Don. <laughs> Whoa! Crisis averted. Look out! I'm a train conductor on the move. I just got a feeling that we'll want to start at Wall Station because when we started at Ansberg, I think the the coal, like we get the coal bag and the coal was um the refined coal was playing up. So I think I just got a I just from memory Wall Station. I think if it, it, it's not Saint Denis. Well, no, no, no. Sorry, no. The only two depots on the east track is near Ansberg uh, and near Wall Station. So yeah, I made the right call. I'm fairly sure. Just okay. Well, it is its early days yet. And the fun stuff is yet to happen. You excited for your birthday... <coughs> birthday celebration stuff? I gotta remember to tell my supervisor here that um, I am free for a number of hours. Um, but yeah, I should be wrapped up by 3 p.m. our time so that I can jump on some uh, jump on for some uh, content warning in a phasmophobia and stuff keen as a bean uh, Content warning. I know I remember playing that with Fred and some others um, And I know like it's mainly silly so that's easy but phasmophobia I have always struggled to know what the hell I'm doing in that So I'll I'll just be like help I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. What I'm, I don't know how to catch supernatural things. I just know how to catch a cold. Just woke up. Probably better and conscious after some toast. What are you putting on your toast? Jam. Strawberry jam. I'm a big fan of. Uh, butter and cheese spread but I do also like to partake in the you know the butter and strawberry jam uh, or all the old butter and Nutella real butter and maybe honey nice honey's good too but what gets me up in the morning fried eggs on toast with cheese and ketchup Oh, yeah. Give me that. Every day. I could have that every day. Every bloody day. We don't do fake butter or butter spread in this house. I think I get Devondale. Is that, is that real? Is that real butter? Is there a telegram station here? Yes, thank God. Enjoy your night, sir. Oh, thank you. I will. Fuck. Now that you told me. That's butter spread. Oh. Oh. En route to Wallace. Alright. Just gotta wait for flood. And we'll uh we'll get the show on the road. It's only fifty six percent butter. Hello. Well you're gonna have to you're gonna have to send me some examples of what real butter is. Like do you do you go Woolworths or Coles? Or do you get it from neither? This is a hill I'll die on. Well, I need to... Coles? Okay, send me... Send me a photo or the name of the real buddy you get from there. And I will get it and try it next time I shop there. Because some... Most of the time I go to Woolworths. But then sometimes I'll go to Coles just because they got some different things. Is 
this place coming to? Is that a bunny on the roof? What are you doing? Peter Rabbit, get down! What are you doing? What are you doing up there? It's two years! Get off! Get off! Just store it in a container and you can, not in the fridge. What? What? Everything I know has been a lie. These damn bodies on the roof. <laughs> Yeah. Get off the damn roof, you naughty little bunnies! Get out of here! No! Get off! Get out of here! Go on, get off! No! Get off the roof! Get off the roof, you naughty little bunnies! Get out of here! Get! No! Get off! Get off! No! Don't you dip my legs! Don't even think about it! Get off! Come on! Get off! That's it! But they're worth the same- No! Don't just go back and forth! Get out of here! Be gone! That's it! Both of you! Think about what you- No! Get out of it! You're quite deranged, aren't you? <laughs> No, oh, no, the ropes, the ropes is too loose for the little bunny. Where's your little friend? What have you got? Oh, come on, go join your friend on the grass. Do I need to tempt you with some carrots? I really want my supervisor to rock up and be like, Groves, what are you doing on the roof? I'm chasing bunnies, sir. Rooftop bunnies. They won't. Is that you, Flood? Oh, my team speak died. Hello? Uh-oh. Oh! Blood, is that you? Yes. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Doing all right. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. Sorry, I was just uh, there were some bunnies on this on the rooftop. All right. But I just there's one of them got one of them I shoot off, but the other one 
very persistent, so I figured, fine, you remain there, you naughty little bunny. All right. Uh, well, let's go over everything here. Um, yeah, so I, I trust you've been well. It's been a bit since we last spoke. Yes, well, like I mentioned in my telegram, I you know took a little bit of a break. I went on a, a wine and cheese tour around the countryside and, uh, with, a, with a mo emphasis on cheese. But uh, I seem to have uh, I put myself in a bit of a, a cheese coma, as some might say. Um, maybe went a little bit overboard, but it was a good time to relax, rewind, and feel refreshed. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, so we're going to go through everything. Sounds good. I, I took the initiative, and I've a, a in the before I left Saint Denis in the office there. I put up a, a on the billboard, the bulletin board about uh, the route we'll be hopefully taking. Perfect. That's one of the most vital things to do. Uh, the other thing you have to do is clock on duty uh, on your clipboard. Oh you yes, yeah. I thought I'd wait it. for you. No, whenever you, whenever you're on duty, you're on duty. So make sure to you know put yourself on the clipboard. And I was looking at the route because I really love the uh, the uh, on the eastern route, you know, going around through the mountains, across the bridges and such. You know, the really the really long route around the edge. Um, I was taking a look as it leaves Saint Denis. Is there is there's the two routes that branch off near the way you uh, near the way you get out wagons. Is there a switch for that? Unfortunately, not. That switch is uh, still being repaired. Right. Which uh, which to head up to? Which way is it currently stuck on? Uh, it'll always go towards roads. Uh, you can't go from Saint Denis to Emerald, but you can come down through Emerald to Saint Denis. Oh, I see. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, I was wanting it to head towards roads anyway, so that's so that works out. But I had a quick look, and uh, it looks like all the switches are accounted for for the desired route. Well, excellent. All right, let's uh, let's go get everything settled then. Right, I've got uh, my horse just out outside. Old Growler, head up to the depot. All right. Moon's looking a bit grim tonight. Yeah, it's been like that the past so. few days. I'll go get Baron. Oh. How do you do? How do you do? Howdy, stranger. And then it's just head up to the old tunnel, isn't it? That's correct. It certainly looks different when the moon looks like that. It really does. I had to do wagon service the past two days for the, uh, uh, the whole uh, thing going on there. In all the towns. The thing going on? Uh, they had some actors or some uh, hotel rooms staged up. I don't really know the details. I didn't get to go inside. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help out. And I was just bringing people back and forth on the train and then the wagon service out west. And when you're on that wagon, uh, this moon it causes the dust to get all, uh, all, all thicker almost. I guess just how the light sits on it. Just, yeah, I just feel like it's just that little bit extra hard to see. Hopefully it clears up by the time the train's all operational. Yeah, or you'll just have to keep extra attention on it. Whoa! Cheese coma is so relatable, right? Don't growl, get out of here. All righty. Looks like it's relatively quiet. 
Yeah, you should be good. I'm keeping an eye out. Transit. Check out the vehicle. Do 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 do. And we're doing little olive. No loot. Um, we will just be conducting. And this is. And we want it to be going the other way. I knew that would happen. This is the right way you want, though, right? No, we want it uh, eastbound. Oh. That's all right. You showed me what to do. Just flip it over. Oh. Uh. Wait. Right. So that cheese coma is definitely affecting me now. Depositing the train. Yes. Is it's slipping my mind. Uh, you're just gonna take a look at the uh, vehicles that are currently uh, signed out. Oh. That are active. Duh. There should be a document on your paperwork. It was staring me right in the face. That's right. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta, is why we have this whole session, right? There we go. Second time's the charm. All right. And then I took note, I thought, yeah, one with a flatbed will be good, so I can conduct from here with that, so we, and then we can actually see. Yes, this is the, uh, the best, uh, passenger that we have, honestly. Uh, so, we're gonna have to go get the coal. Easy does it. Back her up, back to Wallace. So our supervised session uh, tonight is not as uh, not as long as usual. It's about an hour or so. So basically, I just gotta sit with you a bit and make sure you recall your training, and then check a box on your paperwork, and then we'll go talk about how to fill out paperwork. Sounds good to me. Very easy. It's no, bro. Right, I've got a about oh, I don't know, two to three hours free if it comes to that. Okay, it's more than enough. Uh, Personally, my voice is running a bit ragged after the short, you know, little stint I had there bringing everyone around the crossing. Uh, so I could probably do about the hour. Uh, so we'll get that finished. Get you checked off, and then you'll be able to keep going if you'd like. Uh, or take out another transit. So after this part of the transit process, you get to uh, take out trains, run them on your own, boats, wagons, whenever and however you'd like. That'd be very exciting. I'd love to start taking out some trains on a, you know, different times that they don't usually run, just so there's more of a presence at all, all well, hours of the day. We'd love that as well. Yeah, we'd love that as well, honestly. Such a shame I, uh, I uh, popped my head into a few of the offices last weekend, and unfortunately there's no one around, which was that I picked, I picked probably the worst day. Yeah. It happens like that, and it comes and goes. But, you know, some days you, you'll you be alone. Some days you'll have a dozen people or so uh, hopping on your train. Oh, I, I really look forward to the next time that... Because um, yeah, the last job I did with everyone was uh, overseeing criminals from Sisica working on the railroad near Emerald. That was a fantastic day. I read that report, yeah. It was splendid. I really look forward to more of that because it was, real, it was a handful of us working with the Siska guards, and we really got a lot of work done. I thought it was a really good just way of bringing the community together. Yeah, there's something happening on Sunday, I believe. Uh, they're trans... It's either this Sunday or next. Uh, they're transporting goods from Siska. Oh, really? I'll take a... keep an eye out. Yeah, it's on the, uh, the bulletin board. Oh, no! Go
My mistake. You're scared something. All right, so we're here at the station. What do we do next? Right, I imagine I would like to go uh, get a coal bag, fill her up with coal. Correct. Now, if I remember correctly, it's around here. Yes, there. I think. Oh, excuse me, miss. Yes, here we are. Oh, coal bag from in the office. I think. Yeah, I'll come with you and I'll lock the door. Good morning, Jumble. How are you? Not sure if you've been to Annisburg uh, recently, but we just got the uh, new. The uh, newspaper has an office with ours. Ah! Uh, coal bag, coal bag. Lock the old door, just to be... After that incident I, incident I had with another supervisor weeks and weeks ago. Um, won't take my chances with keeping any of those doors unlocked. Yeah, we got the locks uh, fixed up recently, so that's nice. Right about here is a good place to grab it. You having a nice night, Jumble? And also, Jumble, thank you again for gifting me Ironbark Lookout. I played it last night. So much fun. I've got about 30 pieces of refined coal. Do you think that'll do the job? Or should I grab another? Uh, generally go with 60, I think, when you're, when you're 60? starting off on this line. Yeah. Another 30 coming we're right up. through the mountains and we get delayed. We, might, uh, we don't want to get caught anywhere. I thought as much. One minute. One moment. It was so much fun, Jumble. And um, yeah, I've got the VOD up and it'll be on my secondary YouTube soon if you ever want to check it out. But thank you again so much for gifting that to me. There was a, there was a few bits that really spooked me. Rest, rip my microphone. All right, 60 pieces ready to go. Oh goodness, now I gotta find that find that sweet spot. Right back there. Toss it on up and you'll be fine. Coal bag is secure. Oh, who's that? All righty. I, now, I believe now the next step would be to uh, send out a just a general tip to transit, law, ranger, and medic. It would just be, uh, on the, in this instance, normally, right, if it's a boat, for instance, or we're doing medical protection, um, we want to generally send out to transit in law. Just when they're starting... And then when you're in the middle of service and when you're done service. All right, so just transit in law. Right, I'll uh, yeah, I'll send that now. Yeah. Basically, we just go and we say, uh, well, you know, hey, 
we're out we're out and about and then for the transit line uh just letting them know where we've started and where we're going sounds so good anyone comes on duty they can catch up with us is that ranger would be if we're going out on a boat ah um, yes aren't you to uh, aquatic mishaps exactly and then we put in for the medic line if we're doing medical uh, escort and protection. Ah, that makes sense. I think he's watching the, um... Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh huh hum. Bom bom bom. Um. Do 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 do. Oh. Right, the telegram is being sent to tra the transit and the Lord tip lines. All right, fantastic. Well, conductor, let's get going. This is the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Little Olive passenger train departing Wallace Station momentarily. If anyone would like a ticket, please see the man in the striped cap at the earliest convenience. Thank you. Thought that chap over there might want to hop aboard, but he seems content with waiting until we've moved, even though it's raining. Yeah, some people are stubborn. Now, just before we head out... Do you mind if mm. I have just a really long, good think? I'm just trying to remember if I hung out my washing outside my St. Denis apartment. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Let me just ponder that for a minute. I just need to All think right. really hard. <laughs> I need to go hang out my washing. My washing machine's beeping at me. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Oh, it's over here. Why is it over here? 
Okay. All right. I've had a really long, deep think about it, and I would say I definitely hung out all my washing before I left Saint Denis this morning. All right. So we're good to go. Well, on your uh, on your leave, I guess. Oh, what's that? Oh, she taught me how to... She does a fancy little uh, hand movement to gesture that we're leaving. Well, it's all depending on you. I uh, Mostly I just shout, but you can also do a hand gesture. You can... Uh... Oh, I can't remember what it is. I'll have to think about it later. Let's yes, go. it's like that. Yes. Everyone's got their own way of doing it. And we're off. Shame there was no passengers. So now I did uh, some. I was talking to someone before I left Saint Denis, and they were wondering uh, if the train was running today, how much it would cost to ride. What's the what's the standard fee now? So now with the uh, payment increase in there, we're uh, like our pay increases and the fact that the state wants to encourage rail travel and all transit travel, technically free. Technically it's free. Right. And uh, do I just, um, I don't need to get everyone's names, do I? Do I just keep a tally of how many people there are? Yes. And, uh, you know, you can't get people's names if you, you know, you're unfamiliar with them. Doesn't hurt. Oh, yes, just greet them as I would normally, not to write it down or anything, just to strike up conversation, I guess. Yeah, keep a, keep, a, keep an idea who it is. If you see some people that are, you know, maybe a bit uh, suspicious, maybe you get their name. Yes. You've got a bit more of an idea of what those sorts of people look like now. Now, is, is, this, a, is this the top speed we want to be maintaining? Uh, what speed is? How or how fast are we going? I've given the the heads up to increase the speed uh, twice from stationary. So we're cruising along. I believe so. Yes. Uh, when you're out in the open country like this, it's okay to go fast. You can literally go fast. All right, let's go. You, you just don't want to go ludicrously fast. Let's go fast now, shall we? All right. We, it looks like we're going fast now. Just don't go ludicrously fast, otherwise the director gets upset that we're wearing the uh, tracks down too much. Understandable. 
Good morning, Asher. I'm well. How Never are you? This speed is the, the fastest you'll go. This one here? Mm -hmm. Right. Fast. Fast is the maximum. That's right. That, that rings a bell. I think what we have coming up to, uh, I know some people want to run, you know, the high value transports as well on the weekends at later hours and earlier hours because, you know, normally we're running them about now, but some people like uh, getting them earlier, some people like getting them later. Oh, yes. Everyone's timetables, it's so hard to sync up. Exactly. But, you know, we're getting some folk that run the tra uh, trains earlier, and they're usually around, so that's, that's nice. Wonderful to hear. And do you have any good stories from the Transit Authority while I was away? Um, I got kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah, and then shot six times. Six times? Bloody, what? Why did Thankfully, they do that? Um, because they missed robbing a high value transport. Oh, that's a bit petty. It is. They're not very good criminals. They're not very smart, neither. They have a vendetta against myself and Victor. They tried, uh, ambushing us after we finished the high value transport. And they made it clear they wanted to take out their anger on us because they missed the high value transport. Two people. We could have gun. We could have, you know, shot them, but there was no call for that. I figured. And no. then they say, "Oh, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take all of this out on you now because you made us miss the high value." I said, "You know, we didn't make you miss shit." So they said, "All right, come with us. We're going off the road." And I said, "Well, all right. Well, we're gonna come with you. We don't need anyone to get hurt. We'll tell you what you need to know. And we don't want to know anything from you." And I'm like, "All right, well." We'll go with you. Good they were Christ. just to keep trotting off the road on our horses. And it was only it was two people on one horse. Then they put their guns away, get off the horse, and hitch it to a tree. And they don't tell us to stop. So myself and Victor, the other one of the other senior officers, we just kind of look at each other. We just keep trotting along away from them. And they don't, they don't say anything to make the stop. And we get a, you know, about half a pistol shot away. And we just decide to hell with it. We just bolt. <laughs> yeah, we, we just ran. We just ran. Now, and then these people got so upset that they scoured the entire crossing for Victor and I. God, that's... Yeah, I think you, I think they I think I think you've got a fan there, Flood. Yeah, apparently, well, they did find me somehow. I don't know how, but they uh, put me at gunpoint as I was interviewing a uh, a new recruit. Took myself in the recruit, oh. and I said, "I'll tell you whatever you want. Just don't hurt the recruit. Let them go. They're the trainee." And uh, they said, "I don't make promises." And I said, "Well, if you can't promise that, you're not going to hurt someone." I, I don't know what you want me to say. Please, promise me that. And they said, all right, I promise I'll let the trainee go. So I tell them everything they want to know. Then they take a knife and slash the, the trainee. What? Yeah. Keep in mind, they take us away from town as well to do this. And I, they tie me up to a tree at this point. So I'm tied up to a tree. I can't do nothing. That takes my hat. Your hat? Yeah, they take my hat and then uh, the one called Nevada pulls a revolver and shoots me in the chest. Now, previously in that interaction, they wanted us to choose who gets hurt because they were they were they were intent on hurting us. And they said, "Choose who gets hurt." And at that point, the trainee knew that she they weren't going to let us get away unharmed. This trainee <laughs> says, 
Well, you're kind of pathetic, aren't you? Oh, no! So, her and I, we just, we just start speaking up against this say This is, this is stupid. Everything about this is stupid. Oh, no. Good. Hey, what are you doing? I'm afraid there's no boarding the train illegally like that while we're moving, Sonny Jim. Why'd you jump on the train? Come on, on the train. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What? That's very dangerous. You're putting your lives at risk doing that. What the bloody hell? wanted to say hello in there. They picked a very bad spot to say hello. Like I see a bloody yeah, thing. They, they can't get to the other side of this uh, this tunnel or nothing either. I don't think I see them. I didn't see a silhouette at the back. I'll go check. Hold on. Oh my god. Should have brought a lantern. No, I don't. They didn't get on. Should I have stopped at that st that was that an official station before the tunnel? No, no, that that is it's just a maintenance uh, station. That, that's Bacchus. That's where we, we refuel. We don't really stop there. That's yeah. That's what I. That's what I figured. So I'm a bit worried that maybe they'd have been expecting us to stop. No, I think they just wanted. To, you'll get people like that once in a while that'll just ride along and say hello. Oh, well, that's think, all well and good, but jumping across and putting their life at risk, and if there was passengers, that'd be putting them at at unease. Yeah, I, uh, I think one of them did not know what was happening and maybe got the wrong message of what was about to happen there. Oh dear. At least they didn't draw guns, so I don't think they meant anything menacing. Now, as a conductor, am I allowed to draw my revolver? No, no, when you are, when you're acting as a conductor, you're uh, unarmed, essentially. I figured. Most of the times, I put my revolver just away in the front cab. What if there? What if there's wolves? Uh, the um, the whole uh, prohibition is that you can use your pistol to get you to the depot there and back. Ah, yes, makes sense. Just in case there is a critter. That's why I don't leave mine on my horse. I always have it in the front of the cab, just in case. Now that makes sense. So in that instance, yeah, I'm here by myself. I'm just trying to just trying to keep everybody calm. Exactly, and you know, we don't want anyone getting uh, shot in the crossfire, and if you have a gun, it gets confusing with security, and that's why we uh, mandate you have to wear that hat there when you're conducting or engineer. Right. Uh, but yeah, that was something. Um, back to that story I mentioned. Anyways, they, uh, they shot me, but they shot me right on my belt line where oh. my flask was. So my flask took uh, most of the hits, except for one bullet. Feeling fine, a bit sore, but... Does it hurt when you've got to put on your belt in the morning? No, no, not that low. It's more like around the stomach area. Oh, good. I just had my flask tucked into my belt. So that's shot number two, but you said there was six all up? There were six. No, they they all went because they uh, they did that slick outlaw trick of pulling from the hip. Oh. Yeah. yeah how uncivilized. <laughs> well, that's the benefit of that. All the bullets are gonna land in the same location. And so, what you and the trainee were, you were giving them a bit of a uh, bit of grief, eh? Well, at that point, they made it clear that they weren't gonna let us go. There's. They, they didn't want to let anyone go without any harm done to them. Like, I tried negotiating to get the trainee out of there, tried, you know, I told them everything they wanted to know. 
Yeah, you did everything they asked, everything everything reasonable. I think at that point, like, what else, what other choice do you have? Exactly, and then they found Victor later that night. They didn't do anything to him because he had a friend and they pulled iron as soon as they saw them. You can read more about it in the report. I put a thorough incident report in for October uh, 24th, I think, 26th, maybe? Oh, it was def definitely still fast. Definitely still fast. Oh, yes. But yeah, they found Victor and his sister, who's a deputy, no less. Oh, my God. And then they drew iron. And apparently, they didn't want to... They, they wanted to fight. So, Victor and his sister just shot their horses out. What's Victor's last name? Beckett. I can't remember if I've met Victor or not. Uh, he's usually much later in, ah. the, in the evening. You might meet him on the weekends because he's uh, he's around at you know your hours on the weekends. Doing as well. Yeah. So uh, that's that's Nevada and uh, Wade Stag. That's that's his name. Right. I don't think I've had the displeasure of meeting them yet, but I'll keep that in the back of my head. I've already yeah, been robbed a few British. times, but I didn't really catch many names. Yeah, for, according to the deputies, I talked a bit about them, uh, to them, to the deputies about them. Apparently, they're not that good criminals. <laughs> well, they certainly can't hold down a job either. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. What other line of work is there? Shit, it's... It's unfortunate when you're not that good of a criminal because at that point there's not much employment opportunities for you no no not at all can they can they swing a pickaxe can they dig a hole at least well yeah they're going to Siska apparently i'm pretty sure it'll be attempted murder oh we might see them on a working on the railroad at some point then hey eh? we might i can't wait because i'm going to taunt the hell out of them that'll that'll be a lesson they will certainly not forget Exactly. They're, uh... They're very sensitive. I've noticed a lot of criminals are very sensitive about their reputation. Oh, I'd, I'd be sensitive too if I if I couldn't swing a pickaxe properly, and I'd be very... I'd feel very self-conscious. And let someone trot away from a robber. It was uh, interesting. I uh, tried to stir up conversation with a few of the criminals on the train before we got to Emerald Ranch that day. And some of them tried grabbing us through the window. Very rude. What? Yeah, really? just, just trying to strike up conversation. And they're just trying to be all intimidating and trying to grab us through the window. But uh, the, uh, the, ch the head of the guards s gave, uh, saw to it though. They're nothing if not effective. Oh, I thought I was going the slowest speed. My mistake. No, it's fine. Oh, who do we have here? Oh, it's Miss Lucille. I think that is. Hello. <laughs> Another one of our co-workers. This is the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Passenger train departing Ansburg soon. Heading to St. Denis and Rhodes. Within the next few minutes, if you'd like to hop aboard, please speak to the lovely chap in the striped cap. Thank you. Hello. Uniform requirement. Good day. Hello, how's it going? Good, thank you. Albert Groves, at your service. Chester Brown, at your service. Pardon? What? What? Who? Hey! Here, right now? 
Right, heading to Saint Denis or Rhodes? Hello, are you? Yes. A reunion go on, go on. Okay. Tickets for the train are currently free if you're looking to ride. Why are they free? Well, because we want we want people to enjoy the train so much that word of mouth spreads amongst the community, and then we might rack up prices. Who pays for the coal? Yeah. When they're paying nothing. Hope you've been well. Uh, yeah, been generous been coal been miners been that just mine too people. much. Oh, that's good to hear. Who that's pays the coal people. miners? Like, I was looking at you. I was like, uh, see the you coal man. Oh, I see. I, see. I think he lives in that big coal house. house. Lucian. Right. Lucian. Yes, of course. Did I say? Of course. Lucian. Well, good to meet you. But what I'm was your name, sir? I think Chester Brown. Brown. She, oh, she wears a lot of purple. So I missed that before. Mr. Brown, pleasure to meet you. Yes, oh. yes, pleasure's all mine, sonny. I'm not changing. All oh, mine. No, it's fine. <laughs> Good morning, Ari. How are you going? Hello. Uh, oh, no, no. Hey, no. Oh, bloody hell. I think oh. Ah. What is wrong with you? So I, I knew. I jumped the wrong way. You this. knew. Yes. This is his, his final session before he becomes a you know, full oh God. member of the transit. Hey, right? Mac. Oh, God, you're not going to do well at all. Jeez. Hey, look, look, at, no, dude, look at this part. Look how I stopped the train. Look how perfectly stopped this is. That is, that is pretty I good. Mean, it... Nope, that's not good at all. You missed it. You missed this it is by smack bang. Inches. Smack bang. No, look, if I was to board the train, I'd have to get off get off the, 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 the Oh, I the see. Thing. Yes, you, you, but that's too you close to the coal car. I pr and that's no, where the no. conductor stands. I would prefer. It would be much preferable. It doesn't matter what you prefer, Sonny. I would this be directing the them that way to begin with. I'd be bringing them over here where we have actual steps. Look at this. Actual steps. Handcrafted. Yes, but that's for, that's for people with no legs. Most people with legs, they jump on. What? If I bring them this, yes, this is a... first point of contact. You come on That's here. No, no leg section. Because ideally, I then want them in here. Not over here. Has this guy never run a train before? We want them They're in here. Stand there. No wind. On me. His first train he's run. I don't oh, want them gonna, standing with me. He's gonna die. He's gonna get people killed. <laughs> There's gonna be a a massacre. Haven't you oh, hit people? Yes, I kill people, what? of course. <laughs> what the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? They were dastardly the criminals doing moonshine. They had to die. Well, so accidents happen. Not to do that. I mean, I'm driving a train. I think. I don't think there's anything less than obsessive. Excessive. Wait, you did I'm just miss an entire gang of people almost run into a cliffside up, up in the hit mountains there. That would have been fun to see. They went to say hi. One of their friends jumped on the, the car and uh. Good day, Miss Albert Groves at your service. Were you looking to ride the train today? Um, I I, I was uh, Nanad. I I, uh, I heard a uh, flood. I was coming to say hi. Hi for flood. Hello. How are you, my dear? I'm doing pretty good. How, how are you? Doing all right. We're doing a training session for our newest conductor, our rising star. Albert Groves, at your service. Well, lovely to meet you, Albert Bird. I'm uh, Mag Papaya Dollars. Nice to meet you, sir. A pleasure. Well, the train oh, ticket's right, currently well, free luck. if you'd like to ride and chat. Um, By the way, how I, much uh, is a train ticket these days? Uh, the state's sponsoring it, so it's free. No, I mean like normal train. Five to dollars, I think. It was formerly three dollars, but the state sponsoring oh. trains and transit now with uh, encouraging to get people to ride more, so it's free. Oh, so I shouldn't oh. be charging people fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you ran a train? Uh, a couple of days ago. I made about seven hundred and fifty dollars. It was a good day. Bloody hell! I feel like there's a rule against that. I'm pretty sure we have a rule against that in the handbook. Nay, I probably wrote the rules. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
What's your name, mister? My name is Chester Brown of the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Nice to meet you, Chester. Yes, nice to meet you, too. Anyway, I must depart. This was... I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know who I am anymore. You've come to Good ride night. the train, surely. Fuck your train. What? He's very He's, tough, isn't he? Is he okay to be... He's been in the Transit Authority forever. I just... I don't know when he wasn't in the transit authority at this point. So he's got like what's it called a ten 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 I think that's I think that's what it is, and no one will fire him. <laughs> so he's he unfireable. Whatever he wants. I, yeah, he's part of the train. That typical speed. That may, that may, that actually I think that brings me quite a lot of joy. <laughs> he just he's been here forever, like. On the paperwork, I, I don't see he's, when he first joined, so he has possibly been here. He's completely delightful. He has possibly I, been here since founding, to my knowledge. I think he's probably my second favorite transit officer, sir. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. It's You're like when you're wanting to clean out an old apartment. Like, you see some old chairs, and you just can't bring yourself to throw it out. He's like, no, we will find a place <laughs> for this chair. This chair stays. I'm sorry, but no one is going to beat Henrietta. Yeah, Henrietta was, was pretty good. Yeah. I think Chester's actually older than Henrietta in terms of seniority in the Transit Authority. Yeah, but Henrietta was funny. I liked Henrietta, though I'm pretty sure I stole Henrietta's hat at one point. Yep. She never forgets that. She's a ranger now. Is she? Yep. Oh, now I have to go bother her as a ranger. I think that's yeah, Rangers are unhinged now. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, really? What was your name, miss? Uh, Isabella. Nice to meet you, Isabella. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. Albert Groves, at your service. Very nice to meet you. Doing, doing medical escort. I've seen Rangers just walk in with bodies filled with arrows. And one time there was a death match with someone that was hunting Rangers and... This fella just walked in with a bloody knife and someone on his back and kept his job. I mean, I'm not going to be like hunting over anything. I'm just going to mess with Henrietta. Okay. I already knew Henrietta was unhinged, so I mean, maybe she'll I think Henrietta just has more freedom now to defend herself. You know what? Yeah, that, 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 I think that's true. Anyways, Groves, here's here's the uh, the new uh, paper office, the newspaper's office. Spl oh, oh, yes, you're mentioning that. Hey, if you want to see it too, Isabella. Oh, you don't want me to see it. It's right out here. Don't, All right, well. Don't give me ideas. If you're heading off, take care. Yep, uh, I'll come and see the train later. All right. Maybe we'll rob it, I don't know. Don't rob what? it. What? Oh, dear. Sounds like the training's quite intensive. It is. Uh, here's the new paper's office. They got a little open office here. Place for their tip lines. They can have interviews. Open floor articles. office? Who would have thought yeah. this will never take off? I don't know. It's experimental, right? There's no privacy. And everyone will just talk. They'll just chinwag all day. No work will get done. But you see, that's why we have this door here, so we can just, you know, lock door. We don't hear anything, obviously, even though there's, it's more of a gate than a door. Yeah, the sound, while we, while we can't pass through it, sound still finds a way. Exactly. Well, that's a shame no one wants to ride, but, you know, I tried. I, I bloody well tried, Flood. It's fine. Sometimes you don't get uh, shifts with people on it. It's just having the service and enjoying your time going around. There's that damn moon again. Right. It's Let's get away from bad. it. This is the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Little Olive Passenger Train heading to St. Denis, departing Ansberg now. Oh dear. Well... And away we go. I think it is Ari. Dude, that's that server's Richard Dome. No. 
Oh god, Squid. Oh god. That sounds... I think I've seen that. It's like a Souls-like, isn't it? Yeah, look, I don't... I don't care what gimmick they do. I am not doing a Souls-like game. I'm not good enough. Oh, Ari, are you still there? And away we fast we go, that's it. Ari, when did you want to oh, test? Yeah, so much is what you missed uh, when you were away on your wine and cheese tour. Um, that was the big thing that happened to me. Uh, Unfortunately, we lost one of our officers the other day. I gotta write up something about that. Well, what, what do you mean lost? Like, they, they changed job? They they passed, unfortunately. Who? Uh, Glenn Sherman. Well, look, I won't lie. There's a, there's a part of me that's relieved I never met him, but I'm still... S that's sad to hear all the same. It is. He had um, some health complications. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, we don't know what it is right now. Um, the deputies haven't indicated it's foul play, so there there is some degree of positivity to it. We'll have to put a bulletin out and get some information from the deputies just to make sure. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Ari, did you want to test Cult of the Lamb co-op tomorrow? It's unfortunate. I missed it. I, I hired and trained him. How long was he with the uh, Transit Authority? Mm, a couple of months. Three, four months. Only a couple of months? Yeah, I don't think it was part of uh, a result of the job. I think it was just an ailing health issues. Oh, dear. And then again, I could be wrong. Well, I hope yeah, if, the... if there was foul play involved, I hope whoever did it is brought to justice. Yeah, the deputies are pretty good at investigating that sort of thing, especially when it comes to an interstate worker. Murder! Um, apart from that, apparently one of our trolleys was chased by panthers. What? The trolley in Saint Denis? Yes, apparently Panthers invaded the city and chased the trolley. What? Yep. How many Panthers are we talking about? Apparently it was like two to three Panthers just chasing the trolley. Do, do Panthers usually live in the swamp? Yes. I suppose maybe they, maybe there's, maybe they were extra hungry and they you know, we're brave enough to head into the city to hunt. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just, uh, just something like that. The past few days, a bunch of weird things have been happening. Can't be weirder than this bloody moon. Yeah, the moon's just an indicator. It's been like that for the past year. In terms of when it gets to this time of year. What, the, the first of November? No, leading up to the 1st of November. This will go away probably about another day or two. So why... Whoa, how... How would it go... How does it go red? Okay, I'm not... That is beyond me. I'm not a man of science. The moon is always... It's, it's a marvel to look at, but sometimes I find it awfully... Awfully frustrating, because it's almost like you think, if only we had a ladder big enough, we could just reach up and grab it. But then it's, I think it's much further away than that. Yeah. There's a story. Uh, it's someone that wanted to shoot the moon. Someone was telling me about the other day. With what, a cannon? Yeah, something like that. Well, a lot of good really luck. Get... Oh. Trying to remember what it was. I 
don't know, I was reading a lot of books and such. It's been a while since I've read a good book. Oh, yeah? There was someone that was uh, reading... I remember the name. Uh, why can't I remember? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That's it. They were reading it last night on the wagon service. And ah! I was dressed up as one of the characters. I don't know why my mind blanked on that one. I just yeah, that sounds like a good one. one. Yeah, they're all dressed up as the characters from the book. Yeah. They're all clinging onto the wagon. Someone was reading passages from it. Ah, oh, that sounds like a splendid old time. Yeah, and then they went to all the uh, the hotel rooms. What? Did they just have like private drinks? Uh, so there were some actors that were around the state, and apparently they had these staged rooms for everyone to go into that were uh, spooky. Oh yes. Oh, that's a horse. Oh my! What the hell? Is that someone hanging on for dear life? Was that someone on the back no. killed over? No, that was. That looked like a blanket. The bloody hell was that? Maybe someone just sent their horse away. It was hot. That horse was very yeah. thirsty. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> Hogline, you should. You should give it a go. Hey, what else happened? I'm trying to catch you up on recent events. Uh, check the critical bulletin when we're done. There'll be some news there, but it wasn't very much. Why wouldn't you get in? Ah, oh. You could probably find pieces from my VODs. Remember, I've got all my VODs saved. Best intent, good. I wasn't meaning to make a solid case for it, though. <laughs> Have I gone too far to stop in St. Denis, or is it just around here? Yeah, a little bit back would probably be the best. Oh, really? Back there? Yeah, See, all I could fit picture in my head was this platform, but I didn't account for this these bloody yeah, cars no, being here. Only... Yeah, I think that one's fused to the tracks. Unfortunately, we can't move it. Right, so stop back there more closer to the, uh, the telegrams in the office. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll head on down. I'll give the announcement. Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Passenger train. Heading to Rhodes and beyond. Momentarily, if anyone would like a free ticket. All aboard within the next few. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rare, honestly, at this hour that we get many people. Some days we do. But on a Friday after all the events last night, I don't see much happening. We had bookings for like four different events in the past few days. Oh, I did, I, I did see the notes come through and I just, just catching up on too much sleep. Oh, nothing wrong with it. We had to cancel a whole bunch simply because we didn't have the logistics for it. We, it wasn't even lack of people; it was lack of uh, engines. Oh my, that is some serious demand. Yeah. Look, I have all these people riding on horses. Why? Look, I get it. I love riding around on my horse any day of the week. But when an opportunity medics. like this comes up, come ride on the train. God damn it! Yeah, those medics looked like they were responding to something. Oh, I suppose that's fair. 
Uh, you know, you know how to identify the medics, right? Ah. Uh, yes and no. Uh, white sashes around their uh, waist means that they're medics. Right. And teal or blue sashes means that they're trainees. Right. Good evening, Sierra. Good evening, Miss. Only. Were you heading to Rhodes or or out west? No. Unfortunately not. I'm going to be making my way more so towards uh, McLean's, so that's the opposite way. Oh, that's a shame. Aren't, hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that actor? I do act, yes. Was it you I met a few months ago down here about theater auditions and you were playing Juliet? Oh, yes, that was me, yes. So my hair is done because all of my costumes called for my hair to be done. So that's what I got going on right now. Oh, well, splendid to see you again. How did uh, how did the run of shows go? Oh, really good. We had to do like um, how they call that? Uh, uncle. Ah, wonderful. And do you have any uh, new roles lined up? Yes, I'm going to be in that Christmas care. I'm going to be playing the ghost of the Christmas pest and also a beaker oh splendid there's already there's gonna be three shows in december i would love to hear it but i'd love to hear more about it but yeah we best be off with the train uh, this is my Thank final you. this is my final training session to become a full-fledged oh. conductor oh well congratulations to you thank you very much miss and congratulations yes. to you for your continuing acting career looking forward to hopefully Thank catching you. one of these shows one day Oh, yes, singles cross. Good evening to you, Mr. Flood. Have a lovely, have a lovely day, miss. Good evening. Stay safe, Miss Arnley. Okay, see you soon. Oh, it's wonderful to hear. Yes, I remember, I remember meeting her, I think, when I was still um, inquiring about joining. Oh, yeah, Miss Arnley, she's a very nice one. She's lovely, and I'm very glad to hear that she continues to have ongoing uh, roles in these performances. Oh, yeah. She's involved in a great many things in the state. Uh, acting. She has the, her restaurant with her husband. Um, she's hosting events. That's all sorts. Wow, and she's got a wonderful head of hair. Absolutely marvelous. Yeah, she had a wonderful uh, dress at Christmas uh, last year, I want to say. I think she said she's uh, playing the uh, Ghost of Christmas Past ah. in A Christmas Carol in December. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, she, um, I think she was caroling last year. and just, Everyone was amazingly dressed through her whole group of carolers. It was great to see. We had them on the uh, the trolley when it was snowing out and all the lights were uh, shining at night. It was very beautiful. Oh, you mentioned that. that yeah, the trolley around December is just a, a wonderful addition to the city. I would love to partake in some of that. Now, yeah. with this ride along now for the trains, I imagine there's an equivalent for the boats, the wagons, and the trolley? Nope. Nope, you've been, you've been passed on all your uh, your trainings. If you feel you need a refresher, we can always uh, book some time and do a training. Session. Oh, so if I if I get approved after this, I could go, you know, get out a trolley or get out a boat. Precisely. Oh wow, that's that's very exciting. There's a document that one of our uh, members is working on for the switches. It's like a uh, something you put on your clipboard and it's a quick reference for the trolleys that will let you switch to different lines. Oh yeah, that was quite that was quite a lot to uh to think about. That's a lot of switches. Yeah, so the idea is that you uh, you stop, set the switches at the telegram station and then keep going. Right. Yes, yes. Uh, but yes, you can, uh, after this, you can take out, and honestly, um, from what I've seen, you've, you've hit the criteria, everything's fine, so. Oh, good, I keep, I keep worrying I've forgotten something, but it's, a lot of it is common sense. Yes, and, uh, there's, uh, support if you ever forget something, you can ask one of the conductors, uh, or you always have your handbook, you can 
prefer to. But for the most part, you, 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 it's been perfect. I mean, nothing, nothing to complain about. Nothing jumping out at me, saying that you ain't ready. So that's one uh, honestly. Here. If you'd like, after we hit roads, we can work our way back to uh, Wallace. Or if you want to keep uh, running the train tonight, uh, we can hop into a, a station real quick, and I could run you through the last bit of paperwork. It's oh, very I think simple. yeah. I think we see through to the end of the route at Wallace, and then that sounds like a good idea to me. Fantastic. Yeah. So we'll get we'll get to Wallace, and uh, we can go do the paperwork. It's we've very much simplified our paperwork system now. It's incredibly easy. Sounds good. But you know what you're doing. About five minutes at the end of your shift, your paperwork's done. Now, obviously, if there's an incident during it, there's a bit more. Uh, yeah, but after this, you can take a train out, you can take a, you can take a boat out, a wagon. Uh, you can even just be on duty and, uh, yeah, just wait for um, the law if they need a transport. What I'd like to do is if I'm just on duty, I'll send a telegram to the law or the medics saying that I'm available and if they need our services to contact. Oh, that would be... that. That would feel like a really good way of giving back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the medics very much appreciate our security. Uh, be aware, if you're going to be doing medical security, you're likely going to have to carry that gun. and You know, you might have to use it. Well, I recently uh, started renting out an apartment in St. Denis. So I, I, uh, I withdrew one of the uh, Transit Authority rifles, and I've got it tucked away there, ready for any jobs like that. Excellent. Yeah, and you got your revolver, so that's good. Yes, uh, yes, after the a couple of muggings I've had, I don't leave home without it. That's good, and uh, we're going to have our security men around more after um, after this stretch of time. Normally everyone's, you know, a bit sick during uh, the beginnings of the autumn. So it's feeling a bit better, I think, in about a few days. So they'll be around, we can get you paired up with some security. Sounds good. And I definitely Myself. won't be going on any uh, wine and cheese tours soon, but uh, I think the only next big stint of leave I'll be taking is uh, around uh, Christmas and New Year's. Ah, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's somewhat around the time uh, I'm going to be taking some time. Actually, uh, I'm going to be taking about a week or two after this, uh, probably after this weekend, actually. Uh, just to rest. I don't take much vacation myself so I decided I should probably do that and I know during winter we're always busy and what better time than around the end of the year when everyone's getting in the festive cheer whether you like it or not exactly right between uh, you know Thanksgiving and uh, Hallow's Eve I'm definitely looking forward to before my break you know seeing the trolley travel around Saint Denis I look really look forward to seeing that for myself. Yes, you can uh, take that out whenever you'd like. Uh, just put your posting up and set your switches and go on your way. Yeah, we had uh, we always we had someone named Chooch. He used to do the uh, trolleys very frequently. Uh, he's taking a bit of a break, but he's going to be back soon. Love to hear it. <coughs> This is the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. Stopping at Rhodes, traveling west momentarily. Currently free tickets available to all. Thank you. Our final stop will be Wallace. Ow! Oh! Oh! Wrong footing. Are you all right? Yes, I just missed the step. <laughs> All right, so let's see you change the switches to get to Wallace. All right. Left.
I'm just going to put a, uh, a message down the line to, for them to please ensure that at the next, uh, what would you call it, uh, crossroads? What would, you, what would you call it? Where the track diverts, where it splits. Uh, split or uh, uh, rail split. I think it's called a rail split, um, technically, but crossroads works just fine. Crossroads. Well, I mean, I'm just putting going to put a word down the line. If they're at the next, uh, at the next switch before the bridge, if they could please ensure that it is remained turned left, please. All right. I think you just role play it out. Also, Descendant, yo man, how you doing? I'm good. How you going? Fifty one month streak. Bloody hell, Harry. Also, yeah, Ari, yeah, Saint Denis. It's a uh, you get weird nostalgia, don't you? It's um, video games. Am I right? People are like, video games aren't art. It's like, well, I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Man was too excited to get onto the platform. You enjoying the new Black Ops? So I just I just send a a, a message down the line and, and they'll take care of it? Yes. Let me just see the records. Hope I'm doing this right. It looks like last recorded that before Flatneck Station, the uh, at the crossroads, it was uh, diverted to the left to go across the bridge up and around to Wallace. All right, that sounds good. Not even gonna check it. You, I, you know what you're doing. I bloody well hope so. But if I do have it wrong, I certainly won't forget this lesson. Well, you know, we just want to let Chester know about it. No one around again is a shame. Oh well. Yeah, there's sometimes you get and then there's just no one around. It's unfortunate. Um, there's a lot of people at West these days, so feel free to always you can take a train out on the Western track just to get familiar with it. Um, yeah, whenever you get time, you can do what you want. The world's your oyster. Will I be wanting to stop at Flatneck and Riggs? Not usually, no. Just if there's people waiting? Yeah, if you see people waiting, you can feel free to stop there. Um, yeah, we don't really stop at those stations. There's no one there. Uh, sometimes they'll stop at rigs. Uh, deputies will sometimes request if they're transporting prisoner for you to meet them at rigs. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so it all depends when you, uh, you get a telegram from the law. You usually have to respond very quickly. So you gotta take the train out low before you gotta be quick, quick, quick. And then you go meet the law and then they they take over security, you're unarmed, you stay in the cab as an engineer. Uh, less a conductor normally. Oh, it is? Yeah, and when it's a lot of transport, always go as the engineer just because you know, you're uh, given that safety by being in the front cab and away from any gunfire. Yeah, don't wanna get in the way. Exactly, and you let them have that scene, you, you know, uh, if there's an incident, they take over, I guess, the whole scene itself. I'm there for, you know, operating the train and moral support. Yes, exactly, and to let them know what not to do on the train. Yes, like, yes, yes. Don't try and board the train while it's still moving. Yes, please, think of your one's own personal safety and the safety of others, please. Precisely. A lot of deputies don't know how to get on and off the train. Yeah, as we saw earlier up in the mountains, silly, silly people, they just... I still don't know who the hell those people were. At first I thought they were deputies, because deputies tend to ride alongside us and say hello all the time. It just happened so fast. I didn't have time to think. Even they didn't know what was happening, it felt like. 
Hey Bard, how you going? It's going good. Got my um my last I'm currently doing so, my uh, last stop training session. When you go and start, we're all your uh that's all up to you. So say you take out a cargo train, you just wanna drive a cargo train around and do deliveries, you're more than welcome to uh, you know, settle that up and get it arranged. Because sometimes there are demands and you're gonna need to stop and load and unload goods. And, you know, hopefully you have an employee to help you, but if not, well. Rear yeah, running the uh, the freight trains out west looks like quite a fun time. Oh yes, yeah, it's always good doing the uh, the freight trains that are here too. They need goods. And sometimes we get people that want to do bulk ice deliveries or ice shipments, so we'll uh, we'll go up into the mountains and we we'll wait for them, and they'll load it up in the freezer car. Ah. Then they bring it all to the city because they need ice cubes for their fancy cocktails and everything. That's that group. That's the one. The one Is that the ones from the suit. mountain? Yeah, that's the one. The one with the tan suit. <laughs> but yeah, but every time I'm like, it's a train training session. Training for train. Train, 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 train. What the hell they're doing? So all the trains are owned by the company. You just have to become an officer. Yeah, and then else is there. as long as you're not like crossing the wires with anyone, you can just... You can just take out but any of the trains if they're free. Too. One per round. Wagons are very popular. Uh, moving furniture also is popular too. Yes, I see those uh, markets and it's just furniture packs piled everywhere. Yeah, I was on the uh, the wagons last night and they said that someone has restocked all the stores in St. Denis and changed up the selection a bit. You know, there is one thing I've forgotten to do. Hmm? Just once every while, just check the back carriages. Just take a look-see, just that's, in case. That's completely fine. I'm here, and I've been keeping an eye on people jumping on and off. Oh, yes. Uh, you can always default that to your security. Uh, essentially, when you're the conductor, you are in charge of the train. Mm -hmm. It's out of security situation. So, say if there's a big group of us, right, and we want to get this train moving, you can delegate and say, you know, Flood, you're in charge of telegrams, uh, you know. Oh, you get person. a bit of multitasking happening. Exactly. And then you say to the other person, say, you, you're in charge of making sure we always get coal. And then you take the coal and fill it in. Ah, oh, yes. Or, you know, you're you're in charge of, uh, you know, whatever is required. Say it's a goods train, right? Uh, you, you say uh, you're in charge of bringing all the, uh, the packages to the depot. That sounds good, yeah. Uh, I've definitely, when I uh, was operating as security for that, uh, you know, with the criminals working on the uh, railroad, there was a bit of delegation going on, and, you know, I've, I just went in with an open mind, thinking, well, I'm here as security. I need to do what the uh, conductor needs me to do. This is their show. It's exactly how you got to do it. Just got to work as a team. Yeah. If you need it in a pinch, we have a tip line in there, too, in Flatneck. Oh, yes? Well, yeah, it's not piggies. Even, no, we don't have any locked doors, though. Oh. Keep a, but, uh, keep a pair of eyes in the back of my head. Yeah, we have no telegram, but we have a tip line. There. So we can see we can't send. I use it as a good uh, place to check in if there's active situations down the rails. And, like, the deputies have let us know that that it's you know, busy down there, so I'll check, see if there's anything, and then keep going. Nice. Ah, what else is there? Oh, in the future, when we have more certifications, you'll be trained on those as well. Have there ever been any complications with this bridge? Yeah. I just thought it would be awfully scary to come on down and find one day that part of the bridge was missing, or... Well, something was obstructing it. We haven't had that, but we have had gangs riding down this track. Yeah. I've, I've personally hit a few people with the train because they're not looking where they're going. Or they're being chased by wolves onto the track. And the wolves aren't letting them go back, so they have to... Oh. I shouldn't laugh. They're kind of stuck. They're, they're really stuck, yeah. Well, that's, that's what you get I, for riding across a bloody train bridge. 
Exactly. That's why I never ride across a bridge. I'll always ride on the side. Hey, Mrs. Phenom, how you going? Um, checkpoints are also a thing, too. Uh, you don't see many of them, but deputies will run checkpoints. Uh, sometimes, if it's uh, intersecting a rail crossing, like all the way at Le Moine, in Le Moine and the Banner for Border, uh, they will ask permission to board and check everything. Oh, that's fair. Very rare that's happened. Uh, Steve, mm, I, from at three o'clock, I'm joining Shell Bunny for um, some her birthday, her belated birthday stream, um, and then maybe tonight I might be having dinner. I might have a dinner date tonight, but that's a maybe uh, with a with a lady that lives in a nearby town. Uh, something big happening. Probably when I get back. But if I'm free tonight, I could definitely fit some in. Uh, someone wants to move their entire apartment by train. When's this happening? Uh, we don't have a date yet, but it's going to be in a few weeks. Uh, there's people around on the track, but they've stopped. And how much furniture are we talking about? Uh, I bet a hundred pieces. Oh my god! What do they do for work? Uh, I don't know. Are they yeah, a I doctor or something? They're a bitch. Hello! We'll be stopping at Wallace Station. Okay. Please be safe. Always safe. Look out, there's a tree there! Watch out, there's no tree. Yes, there is. There's trees everywhere. They're doing it at 7 o'clock tonight. Avatar Liger's channel. They're doing the, the draft pick. So, yeah, we got to keep an eye out on that if we get picked for teams. Well, I haven't, I haven't met her in person yet, Bart, but we have, um, we've talked on the phone and we've also done... Uh, she She's called me once and then she video called me yesterday afternoon. Um, and we're... I, I seemed like we got along. Like, I think she's funny and she's got cool interests and stuff. She's not a gamer, but that's fine. I don't mind. Oh, dear. I just want to go on cute dates. I just want to take pretty ladies on cute dates again. It's been a no, while. Where's Cone? I'm not sleeping. I know you're not Cone. Where is he? I don't know. I'm always sleeping. Normally I see you riding with him all the time. Not all the time. Every also, time Mr. Shreddy, thank Cione you for the follow. There, and the and the and the and the primer. Thank you very much, Mr. Shreddy. Sorry, it's hard to keep up with everything. This is very dangerous. Why? Why are you doing this? Are you gonna board the train? Because we are gonna put it up at depot and we don't wanna hit you. Show the footage of your packs, Shuey! That is sure to win it. Ha 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 ha! Wow, he can drink a, a whole shoe of Red Bull? Wow, we. <laughs> On a train. Oh my train. god! Oh my god, I'm... What a dream boat. <laughs> Saints Crossing oh. Transit Authority is stopping at Wallace Station. Final stop. End of the line. Thank you very much. Are those men in masks your friends? Nope. Nope. Got that? Oh, no. Have fun. That's pretty rude. They're going to rob you? I would do something like that. I don't okay, know. I, they like had blood masks blood on, blood. but then they put the masks down. I got this. Give me your gun. No, you have we'll a gun. We'll take care of them. No, we, we need a second. No. You could give me. You could give me your gun, and then I'll and then I'll go. I'll go. And I'll kill them. I, you love. You love killing is... and death. You'd love it. Oh, love it. I just have an unfortunate number of bodies under me. Well. I, 
Okay, so they've taken off their masks and they're staring at us. Twelve people. I noticed because we're. Suppose we should get to the depot, lickety split. Maybe slowly, we'll see. They have people who kill twelve people drive trains. Yeah, and then they won't let me drive it. Isn't that ridiculous? They should let you drive. Well, yeah, the correlation. We, we just we just met Chester, and we're pretty sure he's killed a couple, couple people. Oh, you just wait. So you'll let me you'll let me drive a train, right? I've killed a few people. Put an application in. Okay. We need security. Right if you can clean up your act, put it, put an application in, become what security. Clean? What are you talking about? When was the last time you committed I took a crime? A bath today. Clean in terms of not doing crime. I haven't done any crime. I have access to the, the, to the citizen registry. You know like, that, right? Yeah. I, I can go in and look and, and see if. In the last, I mean, I haven't done any crime at all today. Ooh, look at that! At all today. I can go in and look if you're wanted. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, but I haven't done any crime today, aside from well, that, that's not crime. What's your favorite pastime? My favorite pastime? Don't say crime. He's trying to say uh, crime, but don't oh, say shit, it. You're right. He's trying to trick. I me. need a quick answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't, I don't know. Don't I like to. I like to go swimming sometimes. I guess. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's What's a your name? Big group. Albert Groves at your home? service. Wait, what did you say? Sorry, what's your name? Albert Groves. Albert Groves? Yes. You sound fancy. I'm you're from fancy? London. You're from, oh, uh, shit, London. I can tell. What the hell is happening over there? Oh. My God! My name's. Is that the Aurora Borealis? What? Where? That's the sun. Oh my God! Don't look at it. Don't look at the sun. You're ah, it hurts to look at it. Ah! Do that. Oh God! Down. I can't look away. It's too it's okay, good to look at. Really oh my! It's okay, oh my! Oh Sorry, my God! Give me your hat. I'll drive. The oh, train. Oh, oh shit! Oh my God! This is who you hire? I would like to say tank? that wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Careful, Raven. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> don't oh my it. God! You gotta be oh, careful playing with rabies. She has a taste for human flesh. Your, your horse is named Rabies. Yes, she was raised by wolves, and she might eat you, so you've got to be careful. She thinks people are delicious. Yeah. Is it your horse we're talking about? Yeah. Does it like smoked tobacco? Uh, I don't know. I had a friend whose horse smoked. smoked a pack a day. <laughs> wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, hey, horsey, you want to want a puff of the old pipe, eh? It's going to bite you. I'm going to work on that. Yeah, you, you should be careful. Please don't bite my pipe. She's eating a lot of fingers. I'm gonna back away. Yeah, good idea. The best oh, idea. I haven't, I haven't fed her anybody recently, so she's, she's a little. Uh, <laughs> My bones. So be careful. You feed people to your horse. A, I mean, a typical Corb's uh, I mean, Red like, Dead I RP stream. When in doubt, you know? slapstick it's humor. Crazy. I know, I know. All faith horses will eat mice. That's a good idea. Horses eat oh, mice? Yes, it was terrified. I saw a horse and it was just sitting there one question. day. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to ignore you. Uh, no. But it, a horse was watching this mouse and it scuttled right in front of the horse. Oh my god. And then the horse snapped and ate the entire mouse in one <laughs> one bite. <laughs> Bud? Wow. The horse from hell! A little more convenient to people. That girl we met. You look that, like so. that actor. <clears throat> what? Oh. What? What was the name of that actor? That... Lee? Yeah. Are you? You look oh. like you could be her sister. Okay. Yeah, What's her name? I can't remember. Miss Amelie. Amelie. You've got a wonderful head of hair, just like her. Oh. Okay. Large and. Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it. But it's very nice. Really? Bushy? Like, Azula, I think he's flirting with I you. feel like there's a better are word than bushy. Oh, I'm not meaning to flirt, I'm just giving a compliment. Oh, are you sure, like a buddy, well, I, I feel if everyone gave each other more compliments, we'd live in a much better world. Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I, okay I got one. I got one. Go, I like go. your hat. Can I have it? Well, I thank you very much, but, but no, sorry, it's a, it's for work here. What? I'm okay, sure well, have more. I like your job. Right? Can I have it? No, I had to go through a rigorous training regime. Yeah, he's been he's been in training for a while now. This is you can't just have his, it. Uh, his the big night. Oh, what the? 
Uh, it's been like that all day. It's that I'm, damn moon I'm, again. I feel like I'm losing my shit. Something's going on in the world. <laughs> Ooh. Feels like it's getting worse as, as time yeah. goes on. I, I yeah. think maybe we should get to the, the depot. Okay. okay, okay. Well, when are you gonna let you drive a train? She really wants yeah. it. We can't give away trains. Just for a little bit. Give her like a, a mile just to drive it, and then you can stop. And then yeah, you know, yeah. Just, she wants to fulfill, fulfill a life goal. Don't you have? To if you that? are, if you are not wanted for thirty days, oh. you can rent a train and do whatever yes. you want. It's a. <sighs> it'll be a free rental. Saints Crossing it'll Transit free? Authority. Yes. No, okay, maybe if I'm ever... That... Okay, okay. I have... And it'll be the fancy one. It'll have a bar car in it, pianos. Is that getting redder? Well, that's a pink oh moon. My, it's getting redder. I just is that... God, it's it getting worse. Is it... And I think it's... it's is that... Time. Is it getting closer? I think it's getting closer. It, it, it's getting larger. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah, it's getting right right now? Is this like a moon I feel like I want to be indoors for about now. Yeah, I think the moon might crash into us. What the hell is happening? Or what if what if the Earth's travel like what if the Earth's getting closer to the moon? Like what if it's the other way around? I don't know, but we're all about to die. You should. That's very dramatic. Don't go saying mm -hmm. that. We're, no, no, we've got to be perfectly all right. Day. It's the final day. We're all about to die. It's the final day on Earth. You should exactly. let me drive the train. I I, I think depot time. Oh, 30 days. 30 days not wanted, and then you <laughs> okay. can get your own can, train. Does that start yeah. from, like, if I go to prison? Yes. Or does it start from my first day in prison? Yeah, no, after you're out of prison. Yeah. Saints Crossing, Transit Authority, departing Wall Station, end of the line. Days. Goodbye, you thank you. Fancy train can I wear your hat? Can you wear your hat? Maybe. Farewell! Yes, he said yes. Okay, so they, they, they weren't interested in robbing us. That's good. See, talking to people usually will prevent robbery. Yes, I was a little bit nervous, and especially those those masked chaps. That was a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. Yeah, and behind them, when I was looking through the through my binoculars, I think the law were chasing someone. Oh, dear. I saw a wagon going like hell, and then I, th I thought I saw a uh, deputy's horse I recognized. And a few of them chasing the wagon. And this area is pretty notorious for moonshiners. Moonshiners, eh? Yeah, they take up the mountains so they're not on the main roads. Ah! Link! Ganondorf's forces yeah. rise again it's, with it's the red moon! It's a... Link! Help me! Link! Stop just a... doing side quests, you fuck! Stop. Hello! Are you alright, miss? I think we should stop the train and see if he's okay. Yeah! Huh! <laughs> yeah! I was like, are these moose? I think, uh, it's meese. It's but elk. Oh, il ilk? Mi elk? Ilks? Elk. Elk. Why are they acting like this? I don't know. Same reason why the moon is the way it is. I'm what are not... you acting like what? They're just eating. They're not running off. Oh. 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 Oh, oh I sp I'm, I'm sorry. I startled it. Are you all right, man? We just saw you on the side of the track. and wanted to make sure you were all right. <laughs> I'm a raw ice just waving. I love the train. All oh, right. me too. Fair enough. Uh, thank you for stopping. I appreciate it. That's all right. Y'all doing all right? You be safe, okay? You too. <laughs> what a great day to do training. Just keep an eye. starting to get busy. Just keep an eye out for, you know, moon goes red. Just don't, just nothing but a thing. Did she just- She reminds me of something. Did she just meow at us? No, she said be, be out now. Like, uh, she said, she said goodbye now very often. Oh, I thought, I, I heard meow. 
me out now. <laughs> no, she just said goodbye very oddly. <laughs> or maybe it's just. It yeah, it would be a very know. strange way to say goodbye. Some people say goodbye in different ways. Sometimes I say cheerio. Cheerio. Your also your tone is also more pronounced. I want to bring her in, bring the train in further into the tunnel. I'll, uh... Ugh. I got the front in as far as I could go. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, that should be good. I don't think anyone's, you know, keeping an eye on us. All righty. There's Baron. You can hop on and give you a ride back. Yeah, so there you go, your first shift. Feels good. Yeah, now we'll go and we'll do the paperwork real quick and you'll be fine. Sounds by good letter, to me. By letter for the paperwork, all I got to do is show you two files and you're good. Such a shame there's no passages, but I'm very thankful that there was no robberies. Yeah, and uh, you, I mean, you learn the most important one, in my opinion, is that sometimes you can talk your way out of getting robbed. Yes, there's no need for people to be, you know, jumping to, to violence like that. Exactly, and if you could just talk with some people, sometimes they won't rob you. Had, uh, you know, had we been standoffish, offish, I'm pretty sure that the woman back there with Jeannie, she would have robbed us. She's robbed us before. Oh, I'll keep an eye out. Sinister Al, thank you for the follow. for my rifle for some reason. Out of partner! All right, so we'll take out our clipboard and take a look at the files that we have. Now, you know the general search. There's the... Uh, the big one is going to be your October shift reports, though. I'm going to make a new one right now. Hold on. It's going to be for November. Wait. Where do I... Where do I get to this? How, in, in the transit files? Yes. Uh, give me one moment to make the November one. I'm sorry I let my intrusive thoughts win. Thought to myself, if the prompt appears, I'm going to jump off the train. Bam, I'm on the oh, were you the one that jumped on up in the mountains earlier? Was that you, Al? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just... Because, yeah, this is my final training session. And so I was just focusing on listening to my supervisor in the train. And then you just turn around and it's like, there's like a bunch of riders and someone jumped on the train. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, don't do that. That's dangerous. Oh, I was like, oh my God, that was so funny. And right before the tunnel, 
<laughs> that was so funny, Al. All good. All good. I'm definitely um, mentally preparing myself for when the train gets, like, held up sometime or something. Um, like, I, I, I expect it will come at some point. Nah, it's all good. I, I just, it was hard to hear. It was hard to hear. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, look at this. You can rent out all these vehicles. You got wagons, boats, trains. There's even like some of the trains, are the trolleys that go around, like trams that go around St. Denis. Very exciting. And here you can change the switches. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot to it, Al. It's really cool. Well, it's a lot, but it's really it's really quite streamlined. It's it's really quite uh easy to um easy to do. It's really fun. I'm really enjoying... Oh, I did this incorrectly. My apologies. It's been really fun just... learning how to do it. What's your character all about, Al? If you, if you're happy to share, because this this is my first character on the server. I've only been playing since like middle of the year. It's been a good time. It's just hard to, because yeah, I got to get on during the weekend, during the day, because I'm in Australia. All right, there we go. Oh. So when you're looking at your paperwork, yeah. uh, take another gander at it. Uh, so what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, log November shift reports. Should be at the very top. Yes. So when you go into that, um, there are some simple instructions at the top. You copy that template. And then you just do your time and your date, the route you took, and... Uh, which SCTA officers were aboard. So you put your name and then my name. And incident, you just put a, a Y or an N next to it. If there is an incident, which means you put a Y there, uh, you write up a separate file. How do I add to this report? Uh, so you'll go to uh, the upper right hand. There's like a little pull tab there. That'll let you check it out and edit it. So you pull it off the, the clipboard and then you uh, you can edit that. Uh, if you want a better example, you can go and look at the October shift reports. And I just... Oh. Yeah. So let's go to the October shift reports. Uh, you just you can close, you can close, close that, uh, that file and then we'll look at the October shift reports. Oh. And then you'll see a bit better what I mean. Because that one's filled out. So this I'm is... just writing my entry underneath the uh, the example. Exactly. Times like this, I wish I had an open mic going on. Uh, do you see what I was meaning? I 
think so. Okay. I'll let you uh, do the rat. I mainly play Nyx, a violent crim that is highly wanted and laying in disguise since my folk just got released from Sisigar. Oh! Were you on, like, were you working on the railroad the other weekend at the Emerald Ranch? I'm tempted to make a ranger. I'm probably going to make a law character soon once I once I'm like really comfortable with doing transit stuff. Um I think I've added it correctly. All right, let me take a look. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, here, I'll, uh, let me show you something. How to do it a bit easier. Yes. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Oh. Uh, I'm just writing this down on a little piece of paper for you. I'm going to slide it to you here. It's easier if I, if I write it out and show you. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. Exactly, and that, that's an easier way of doing it. Um, so if you, if you run it like that, um, otherwise, yeah, completely perfect. Now, what you'll do, if there's an incident and you're taking a look at this uh, this report, you'll see there's a, a linked uh, place where you can uh, attach files to, like put a pin through them both and tie it to this report or this, do this log. Uh, if there's an incident, say... Uh, you know, we got robbed back there. Yes. Uh, we would have to put incident next to it, or yes for incident. Uh, and then we would fill out a case file, basically just saying what happened. 
and then we would link it to this uh, log here. So, yes, so separate report, but link it to this one. Yes, and there should be a template uh, if you look in the files here. And for further information, you can look at the October shift reports, which will have everything already filled out from everyone from the past month. We have our information index, which should have everything you need uh, in a quick reference. Oh, I... So I can search for it through the through the documents. Yes, and you could also like look through it at the bottom. Ah, oh, yes. For instance, you'll see all of our. If you look at the SCTA master contact list in the um, SCTA information index. Oh goodness. Yeah, there's a whole lot of reading you can do. Um, for instance, if you look at the master contact list, this will have an active list of all of our members and our seniors, uh, as well as active trainees, which you are on here. I'll fix that in a moment. Oh, because, golly. Uh, Goodness. How exciting. Yep. And if you ever need to contact any of our liaisons in the other departments, uh, we have a updated list here as well as uh, any rangers, any medical. Then just a, a list of reporters. Oh no, where's your, where's your ranger, Al? It's only one so ranger. It's a very neatly organized paperwork system, as you can see. It's very straightforward and simple. Um, before every shift, I recommend taking a look at the SCTA Critical Information Board. Um, and if there's anything pressing, like a threat against a member or something to note that is, you know, life or death or very important to the job, uh, you as a, a conductor can put anything on it. For instance, you see I put that I got attacked. Ah, oh, yes. And that these individuals seemed violent, so... Then I just enclose where the report was. Well, there's a lot of good information here. Exactly. I recommend that you update your uh, uh, your information in the contact list as well. But oh, the last thing. Uh, now that you're a full-time conductor, you are obligated to put feedback for any new trainee ah so how you do that is essentially i'll create a uh, report or any of the seniors will and you just look at it says h which means new hire their name excuse me and the telegram uh, and then you'll add uh, a piece of paper to it for officer feedback you check off what you explain to them and then your feedback and impression of them. And if you feel like they need to work on anything, you put that in their feet, your feedback too. And that way we build a comprehensive list of, uh, you know, all the trainees and what everyone's done to teach them. That way they're expedited and, uh, well, they can get through their training a lot quicker. Yeah, I've, I've updated my name from trainee to officer officer fantastic all right so that's basically it for paperwork that is that's everything no it's very straightforward i just need to devote the time to really just get across it and it bobs your uncle exactly uh well now um mr groves uh well officer groves uh welcome to the uh the transit authority everything's been met to my approval Oh, Mr. Flood, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure to have you, and I know you'll do well. It's, a, it's an honor. I've dreamt of this well, day for a long time. Fantastic. If there's any questions you have, you can reach out to myself or any of the seniors or any of your peers as well. Um, you'll likely have some questions as the days go by. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but, yeah, make yourself cozy and 
run a train whenever you like in a boat or a, a tram or trolley or however you wish. Sounds good. I look forward to it. Um, oh, goodness. So many options. Yep. Whatever, whatever strikes your fancy the day of, you can just go ahead and run it. Oh, thank you again so much. Thank you. Thank of you course. very much. Now, you have access to the tip line, too, if you can just check to make sure you can get to there. Excellent. Yes, I can uh, view that. And I was able to read the uh, tip line I sent uh, prior to us departing earlier. All right. Uh, let's have you test something here. Yes. So uh, if you look at the entry that says Fancy Train by Game Warden Maddie. Yes. I want you, there's a small uh, little flag. If you're looking at it, you're, you should see title, sender, timestamp. And there's that little, little circle at the back of it that's a flag. The flag column. Uh, up in the top right, the the, fla the American flag. Yes, if you go down to the uh, to the little circle on that entry, fancy train. Oh, uh, fancy train. Oh, oh, the oh, I see. I, I had... yeah. You see it. You see. There's that little uh, piece of paper you can pull out of yes. the flag, and it says. And then responders. I can add a responder. Yes. So this is what you'll do if you'll respond to something. So you'll just go add responder and then say, you, you can put my name on there. If you'd like. Thomas? Yes. I thought it was just Flood. Yep, that's my state name, but uh, Flood's the, uh, Flood's my full, my, my nickname, my sobriquet in the crossing. Right. So this is just so we've got a note that, you know, we're not wondering, yo, did someone respond to them? Did they not? Precisely. And then if you're actively out doing something like furniture moving, you could do that and respond to it. Uh, and then, most importantly, now that you've uh, responded to it, uh, you rather you added a responder, you'll then go to the upper uh, right hand of that little pull tab. And there's an option where you can just, uh, you know, take the pin on the side and resolve the telegram. Oh, here's a good paper trail. Yep. So if you do that, resolve telegram, you'll take that pen and you'll just strike a big old X through it. Which means it's been done. Everything's perfectly fine. It's been all situated. Oh, yes. So go ahead and do that now. Cross it off. Perfect. And that's how we, uh, we note that we finish things. Oh, dear, I think my hands have cr cramped up. I'll just put your hands up. Just make, a, make a U with your hands. I just put them up in the air like that, and they'll be fine. Hey, you gotta do hand exercises. Yeah, i got to keep the blood flowing. Oh, gee, look at that rain. At least it's I not red. A lot of horses outside. I mean, why if it was red rain? Oh, you got some visitors. Dude. Howdy. Hello. How are you? Hello. Doing all right. You up to any mischief tonight? You know, we were actually planning on robbing your train, but your train seems to be have put away in the depot. You wouldn't have gotten shit. <laughs> God damn it. It was Maybe a trading we... train, and there was no one that boarded. Maybe uh. we wanted pleasant interaction. Hmm? Oh, well, here's our pleasant interaction. You're right. I'll take it. <laughs> Would you care for today's newspaper? You know what? I would. Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> How much is a newspaper? It's completely free. You are nice. I like your face, guy. Got a nice thank face. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like your hat. It's very nice and stylish. Thank you. Yeah, I we. I can't wait we, to rub this guy. He seems lovely. 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, we are quite polite when we when we rob folks, so at least there's that. There is that. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. No. We were out at uh, Fort Comanche. You checked to make sure the door was locked. <laughs> no, it's just uh, I have to do some hand exercises so they don't cramp uh, up. Think... So I just thought hand I'd wrap exercises. it around a doorknob real quick. Uh, I see. And, and I see. His hand just got stuck to some paper from the the tip line. Yes, exactly that. I, I'm I'm training hmm. him. I'm training him today. It's his it's his last session, so he's learning how everything works. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Including his hands. Hey, either one of y'all got a got a lock pick, just curious. No, we've got one better. We've got the we've got a key. No, no, I was talking to my folk. Oh. Yes. Sorry. You do? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you should go get it. Alright. <laughs> Amber, let's have a sidebar over here. <laughs> Are you being serious, Flood? Yes, yes, I think they are. Do we run? What do we do here? I... Don't shoot them. Don't shoot them. There's more. There's a lot of them out there. Can... What? We, we can send a telegram to the law. All right. We can send a okay. tip. Yes, you go do that. I do need the practice. Howdy again. Hanny. Hello. Hanny. Oh, I don't have a feeling they're probably sending a telegram. Slander. Remember, this is just for shiggles. What is shiggles? Are you, are you Shits and, giggling? and giggles. Yeah. That, that's. Ugh. You don't like shiggles? Ugh. <laughs> 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 Maybe you should think of a new word for that one. Just do some <laughs> constructive feedback on that. Get. That's just another word. <laughs> Maybe you should just keep it as the longer form. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the tumblers moving. <laughs> Do you Nothing's know? Happening. Nothing's <laughs> happening. It's perfectly fine. There we go. I've just sent a telegram that should then be sent I'm across the ocean to my family show. back in London about my Christmas plans. Wow. So that, Sir, you, you're a fantastic liar. So that, Flood, I've just put in my leave application <laughs> for my Christmas holidays, so yeah. you should mm -hmm. get that. we get that all sorted out, shall we? Everyone leaves me. A fa a faster would be better. Um, I, everyone working. leaves me, oh my god. Mr. Flood, Flood, I won't leave you. I promise. Yeah, we'll be right here. I will here. never leave you. Oh, oh fuck. I pulled out a knife. He did. He has I'm a knife on the other side of the door. What are you doing over there? I'm just standing here. Well, I mean, if that door opens, I start stabbing. Is there, oh, shit. Is there a knife oh, fight no. happening? Is there what happened? Is there a knife I'm fight happening over there? What are you the doing? Door. I'm just no. tying my shoes. You guys have the knife. We don't have a knife. Well, if anybody wanted the door unlocked, it is. Don't get stabbed! Oh my god. I'm not taking any fucking chances. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I what the bloody hell? Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, get out of that! <laughs> Harry! Take your hands off him! God, Harry! What? I apologize. Get your knife, get your knife out. Oh, I'm sorry. And defend the station by knife point. <laughs> this is what we call an impasse. <laughs> this is my first day, and Harry. I would. Jesus hey. Christ, he's got oh, an axe! He's got a <laughs> oh, fuck, he got you there. I would die for the, the railroad, I think. Do you want to prove really? it? No! I don't... He's... Do we have anything bigger than a knife, Flad? I don't want that. Crazy. 
We should get out of here. We should probably go. We you should know what? probably go. I don't want to be here anyway. He's really cool with the knife. Vlad! <laughs> oh fuck, he's coming! Oh my god! Vlad, <laughs> be careful! Please. I fucked around and therefore found out. Right. Vlad! Have a good day! Get back here! <laughs> Vlad, are you alright? I'm so. That was terrifying, Alfred. Albert, sorry, I keep calling no, you. No, you're alright. Heat of the moment. Oh my god. Ooh. Holy shit. That, put the knife away. You can put the knife away. That is not how I expected I bluffing, spending I the first few minutes of becoming an I, officer. Oof. I'm so happy. Um, I was bluffing that entire time. I would have immediately dropped the knife. I didn't think they actually had a lockpick. And then they, they had an axe. Die. They brought an axe to a knife fight. Oh my god, we should go send a tip. There's a lot of come out here in force. Yeah, I, yeah, I told them that, yeah, we were trapped inside the office due to criminals. So they might be, they might be sending uh, lawmen right now. I, I guess I, I'll go send a tip saying we scared them off at knife point. Maybe they want to come out here. Well, maybe tell them to bring one person and we could give a report, a statement. I don't even know who those people were. Did you get a good look at them? Sorta. Of, this window is very small. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I I couldn't see very much. I c couldn't couldn't point them out on the street to save my life. <laughs> okay there I said, I said the situation's been resolved we chased them off at knife point should should we go give a state oh i suppose yeah if we didn't see anything yeah let's, let's that they've, they've let's literally got all the information we could give yeah i don't know who those people were I, I think I, I I think I could I know that might be I can't remember her name though. There's a lot, I meet an awful lot of people every day. It's yeah, honestly I do. I meet so many. Your horse is okay. Yeah, they, yeah, they didn't do anything to my horse. Just I I, I I screamed nonsense at them and chased them. G'day, Hopi. How you doing? Oh, when should I go off duty? Uh, let's let's not worry about that. Let's go to town in case they decide okay. to come back and they realize that they have guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. I, I thought they were joking about the lockpick as well. I, I wasn't. I wasn't quite sure. I was really. I was really hoping to see the law department just roll up on them as they were talking nonsense. Yeah, exactly. Now let's take a shortcut over here. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Take you all the way to Valentine. First and I've seen, I, I just travel. take the roads. I have no bloody idea where I'm going. Oh, that'll change after a while in the transit authority. I, I hope so. A map. I barely need to look at a map these days. Well, um, that technically, I don't know if that even deserves an incident report because we weren't on a shift as that happened. No, it's pretty, and I think the average employee would be looking out for instances like that anyway. It's, yeah. it's extremely broad. I mean, what, the, what would the report title be? Uh, the flooding groves fend off criminals at knock point? 
That <laughs> doesn't sound good. That sounds like we just started stabbing them. No, oh, there's no stabbing as far as I can see. Just... Just held knives that he pulled out. <laughs> that was very... Tomahawk. Very dishonorable pulling out a, a tomahawk like that. <laughs> I don't know how to pin that direction was. <laughs> Shit, there's no law here. Uh, we can try roads if you like. Jaw! Sure. I feel like we should say something. We, I, I think so, because, you know, you never know what could happen for the rest of the day. People's lives could be at risk. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God. You, oh you, hello you again. We just had to defend ourselves at dive point. Okay. What? How? Oh. So we tried breaking into the office as we were do finishing our training. Oh, well. We just had to pull dives. Who was he? I don't know. We don't know. Go beat him up. We have no okay. idea. It was within minutes of me becoming an officer. And next thing I know... I shook his hand and then uh -huh. people invaded the office. We were shaking office. hands and then we were shaking knives. Yeah, we, we chased him. We started chaotic, screaming but... at him and chasing him with knives. Damn. Then we pulled a hatchet and that. things got hatchet. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to chase someone with a knife. Ooh, we could do that if you want. We should find someone to chase with a knife. Don't chase people with knives. What? You're being a hypocrite. No, I'm not. You just said you were chasing people with knives. And it's self-defense. Okay, well, probably mine will also be in self-defense. Okay. Chasing does not really constitute self-defense. Chasing a flag is just going Oh, the milkman. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No. Whoa. So, roads. You think there'll be some law in roads? How many milkmen are there? Holy they are. hell, that is a lot of milkmen. How many? That is three more milkmen than I thought would be on that wagon. How many bloody bottles of milk are they carting? One wagon. Seems excessive. Maybe they're all very bad at their job. Yeah. Maybe they're hired security for the milk wagon. Maybe. Who is, who's going to steal milk? I don't know, but I think I, I saw them up in the wagon. mountains you earlier. I kind of want to steal some milk. But those are, I, I think those were the people I saw when I was talking to y'all up at the station. Remember, oh, I was, I was talking about someone being a, I saw like a milk wagon. <laughs> so. the milk guys that were thinking about robbing you? I don't know. That's no, no, when crazy. I was looking in the background behind you and I thought I saw something in the bushes, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. a, a milk wagon. Well, lady does dress like me. Well, I need to well um... I know you probably haven't, but have you seen any law around? Sure. Uh, nope. Yeah, okay, well, there we have so to go report here. a knife fight before we get, there, lose our jobs. There were so many here a long time ago. Rhodes, you think? Probably Rhodes, yes. All right, I'm up for I'm it. I've still got time. You, hat. I'm coming for you. Knife fight. Knife <laughs> fight. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Everyone just wants to fight us today. It's like, look, the safety surely is on the train. The moment you step off the train, anything can happen. Yeah, we should just stay on the train. I'll just live on the train. Nice, peaceful yeah, existence. Ride this way anyway, so probably better. So, so what do we say to make the incident report sound a bit more, you know, a bit more... Less unhinged? Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't think we need an incident report for that. Or, you know, what, what, what are we going to tell the lawmen? Like, what, what, how, do you, how do you want to word it? If they, maybe they, what if they separate us and they want separate that, stories? That's a fair point. Um, I mean, we could just tell the truth and leave out the part where we chase them with knives. It is serious, it right? Oh, like, they... Dragon, watch you. It was... It was serious. It, it was. They... Wait, are those medics? 
They they picked the lock of one of our doors. They threatened us with a ha knives and hatchets, with threats of robbery. So yeah, that's 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 serious enough. Yes. Oh, those are the medics back there, but we gotta go find law. Is there a way? Because I've met a couple of lawmen. Is there a particular thing? I, I think is it the buckle? The badge. Oh, the, the badge. Yes, yes. They'll always wear the, the tin star. And uh, just look for the star because sometimes, apparently, now they're not tin. Some they have different ranks and they're different medals. Right. So it's like a tin star is a deputy, silver star, uh, senior deputy. Sheriff and under sheriff, I think are gold stars. Oh goodness! I think uh, that's what someone told me. I really haven't paid attention. Yeah, welcome to your first interesting shift, I guess. Is the Earth Transit Authority? Straight out the gate! Straight out the gate! Right out of the gate, you're defending yourself with that. Well, it was a good example of you know how to handle oneself in that situation. So I. Uh, Trying to look at the, look at look at the positives. Yeah, that, that was quickly turned into a siege situation. I'm just glad we had a, you know, we could get word to the uh, the law department from where we were. That's that's a that's a plus. Yeah. I think everyone was afraid of being stabbed in that encounter, which I mean is a fair reaction. Oh well, you know. If a, if a stab wound is serious enough, you, sometimes doctors can't... There's just nothing they can do. It's quite... You don't know how it's going to go. Terrifying. I would rather be shot than stabbed or shot with an arrow. I would, I would rather be shot with a bullet than be shot with an arrow or stabbed. Yes. Ugh. Having worked the medical department and seeing them pull arrows out of people, it is not good. Oh, God. Way. No, thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, I had to see them pull an arrow out of someone's leg before. Ugh. Well, did the yeah, arrow go all the way through? Yeah, it went, well, it went through, and then they had a special instrument to pull it out. With like a... They're like a big uh, clamp, but reverse clamps. Oh, my God. Oh, look out! Oh Sorry. God. Oh God. Sorry. Oh God. Sorry. Wait, were those deputies? I can't be sure. I guess we'll find out when we get to roads. Used to be a time when all deputies would wear white hats. That would be easy to spot. Yeah, it was. It was until criminals started wearing white hats and pretending to be deputies. Oh, that's just those. They lured people in. Those scallywags. Yep. Always be careful too, because people like impersonating transit officers as well. Is there no? Is there no low they won't sink to? There is not. Though, admittedly, you can usually tell simply by how they conduct themselves. Ah. Oh, the rocks! Good evening. Anyone home? I don't think so. No. Hello? 
You have to go to Saint Denis anyway, right? Yes, yeah, so I have an apartment there, so. And I've All still right, got I can time. Ride. I can ride with you to Saint Denis. Blackwater and Saint Denis are usually where there's the most deputies. Oh, he is? Yeah, they use it as staging ground between all the towns. They wouldn't be stopping in for a meal at the saloon here, would they? No, they uh, they usually stick to the office. Oh, that's not very exciting. It isn't, but... You're not feeling a little peckish, are you? Uh, I can stop if you like. I think it'd be a good... Uh, Maybe just a quick breather. Get a drink to celebrate your, uh, your, your new officership. Yeah, I just... Wouldn't mind just a moment to catch my breath and... After a have a drink experience. Just my heart, my heart's a little uh, racy at the moment. I could have a beer after that too, in all honesty. I didn't think I'd. When I woke up this morning, thing on my list, I was not expecting chasing someone with a knife and yelling blah blah blah. No, that no, I. That's not what I uh, thought would happen at all either. Probably rises. Sure, I'll. Uh, I won't. Uh... Be sticking around. Uh, I got a little bit of business to attend to, but uh, I will be uh, oh. back in tip top shape in, I'd say, maybe uh, an hour and 45 or something like that. Uh, yeah. Mr. Bradshaw, Albert, I feel like around, we've walked uh, into something we shouldn't. Is this more of that, those spooky festivities? Yeah, that'd be great. I don't think so. They're all wearing oh, hello. masks. Uh, flood! Oh! Hello! Well, how are you, Flood? You, uh, Doing all right? I feel like we walked into something here. No, we're just yeah, chatting. Was everyone wearing a bone mask? Look at who we got Not here. everyone. There's only two of us. Oh, I, I couldn't see everyone else. I only saw two people and everyone else had their back turned. Oh, no, 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 no. no nothing oh, okay. mysterious is going on. We're literally just talking. Right, it looked like everyone was wearing a mask. <laughs> we're not interrupting a party or anything, are we? No. A little surprise no, masquerade no. party, celebrate the last uh, evenings of the blood moon. I'd like that. No, there's a familiar voice. <laughs> it's good to see you, Shay. <laughs> God damn, good to see you too, Flood. You got new hair. I don't have <laughs> new hair. I just I have pomade and I never put product in it. That's the difference. Well, it's good ah. to see you. I'm blocking the door. Oh, apologies. Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh, no, no. oh, oh man, we we uh, yeah, we just came here to get a drink after a shift. I see. Yes, and I what heard a shift that you've it been was. Training up a uh, a new conductor, right? Is that is that correct? Yes, yes. We just had a harrowing encounter. Oh, newly appointed officer tell? Albert Groves at your service. A pleasure, Julius Bradshaw. Nice to meet you, Mister Bradshaw. We uh we just had to defend our office at knife point. Oh really now? From who? Yes, from invaders of unknown origins. They would just charge the office with knives? Uh no, no. Uh, we, we we chose knives. They they oh. were lock picking the door and weren't <laughs> anticipating us to defend ourselves. <laughs> so I I see. We charged them and just shouted nonsense and chased them away. Right. Right. I like that. I gotta train the new officers in security protocol. Oh, I, <laughs> it, the training that never stops. Yep. I promise, learning. Flood. I promise it wasn't me. I know I joked about possibly doing a robbery, but I promise you, it was not me. Whatever happened. Yeah, well, I heard we, something we, about we, a knife. Yeah, we know it's not you. It's just <laughs> they. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I think no one in that encounter wanted to get stabbed, so we were all afraid of one another. Because they they <laughs> drew hatchets and knives, and we had knives, and we were all like fake charging near one another and running away from one another at each charge. Because no one wanted to get stabbed in that encounter. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sounds a little funny. <laughs> Getting stabbed yeah, so out at Wallace Station. Oh God. Like, who knows how long it's going to be until medical aid arrives. Yeah, exactly. Well, I hope everyone's been good. I've missed you, Flood. 
Yeah, I've missed you too. I've been I've been out west more, uh, running the coach lines out there. You know, I was feeling very nostalgic the other day, and I glanced over at the gun store, and it was fucking empty. I walked on over, and there was a notice on the door. It said, uh, gunsmiths for hire or something. And for the moment, I had a brief bit of hope. I'd, I'd pick up the piece of paper and see your name or Garrett's name or something, and it was all... It was all new names, and I didn't like it at all. Really? There's a new one? I don't know. It could just be people putting... Uh, Flyers down on, on the outside. There was there was no one inside tending the actual star, but nah. I just stood in there for a moment, reminiscing a little bit. Yeah, Cooper says he's coming back soon in the new year, but he said that a few times, and maybe it'll be true this time. Man, I'd certainly be happy if he did. Me too. I miss the I miss the old man. I just miss his horse roaming around the town, <laughs> keeping an eye on everyone. Hey, the first one. The first one smoked so many cigarettes he went near a fire and caught a flame. <laughs> he got his heart smoking cigarettes. Yeah, a pack a day. It's good. Healthy. Yep. And then he would have his horse roam around, keep watch over the town. Yeah, the amount of times we'd be sitting at our camp and the, his horse would just wander over and would always it would always canter up right to the front of the gate and then just stop. Just come to a dead stop right at the entrance of the camp. And just stare in at us for like a minute or two. And then keep just go. <laughs> and yeah, just stare for a minute and then just turn around and walk back in the town. That's how you always do it was in the shop was when you'd yeah. see the horse wandering around <laughs> town. He's uh, a well trained beast though. It is, it is. He he always only had good horses. They weren't the fastest, but they were uh, they were always old retired horses he picked up. Mm. Most of cart horses, honestly. No finer horse. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah it's I hope everything's creepy. been good with uh, your family and such. Ah, uh, we've been well. We've been well. We're uh, getting back going ourselves recently. The last while now, so oh, things that's are good. good here. Can't complain. Hey, I don't know if you heard of this, but we had a passenger tell us there's a uh, new furnishings in stock in Saint Denis. I don't know if any of you heard that or. Oh, no. no. Oh, Check that out. Yeah, someone just told us one of my passengers the other day, and, and I was curious if anyone had heard it. I have not, but to be fair, me. I just got back to the crossing yesterday, so I'm sure there's a lot I mm -hmm. have not heard about. Welcome back. Mm. Well, thank you. A falcher race. I love the gold, by the way. <laughs> well, how about that drink, Flood? Yeah, let's get there. I'm mighty parched. After screaming at people and charging them with knives. Ivy wander off to in row for that man. Shit, I'm gonna throw on the patio. Here, I'll buy a drink. That's very kind of you. Keep your voice very low. Yes. Put the man in the gold mask. That's Julius Bradshaw. Oh, yes, Mr. Bradshaw, yes. He is known as the Jade King. Jade? Yeah. Why His mask it? used to be made of jade. So now he's the Gold King? Yes. He's the uh, one of the most notorious bank robbers in the crossing. Right. Oh. Oh my. Oh good heavens. He's robbed banks by himself. How the bloody hell does one do that? With great skill. Him and his crew, that's what they do. They rob the bank. Good evening. I think they're gone. Addy? Yeah. Good evening. You seen a British lady, sort of blonde? Yes. Uh, she just went to the telegram station. Yeah. Oh, was there a fellow Brit in here? I didn't even realize. 
Well, it sure ain't me. Did everybody leave? I think they they all went to the telegram station because Mr. Bradshaw left. For sure. You're the only one of them. Yeah, I fucked up all night. People scattered to the wind. Sounds like you're being called. Oh, no. There, there she is. So all of those people are part of this crew, I think. Oh, did we interrupt like a... I think we just... A crew meeting. A gang. I think we interrupted a gang meeting. Well, that's a bit silly. They have it here in an establishment like this. This was one of the first establishments I visited when I came to country, and uh, it was, I met the uh, the owners. They were very nice. They were actually wanting me to apply to become a uh, one of the uh, master bathers here. And I said, no, sorry. Oh. I said, no, sorry. My heart is set on pursuing work with the Transit Authority, but thank you very much, all the same. And so they did not, uh, did not go anywhere. Uh, are you looking for your friend, miss? Miss, are you looking for your friend? Uh, the fella you... came in here. Yes, uh, uh, they out the back. Wait, yeah, no. they went out back. Yeah, oh, great. Thank you. Miss, so did I hear you're from Britain as well? Uh, yes. Well, um... Oh, pleasure to meet you. I'm fresh, uh, well, relatively new from London. It's wonderful to see a fellow countryman here. Oh, goodness. Uh, well, um, Derbyshire, actually. Are you with the Transit Authority by any chance? Yes, I just became an officer before. Yeah. Fantastic. Lovely well, to um... meet you, Miss. Uh, my, Albert Groves, at your service. Miss... My, Ivy Brightwell. Nice oh. to meet you, Miss Brightwell. Oh, Wonderful to see you. Oh, Christ, he's, he's got lungs on him. I do, I do love trains. So this is quite a fortuitous meeting. Well, if you ever see the uh, the train being run by Albert Groves, hop aboard and we can reminisce about the old country. Absolutely, I will be sure to do so. Sounds pleasant. Bring the crumpets. <laughs> High tea it is. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Don't want to hold you up, miss, but lovely to meet you all. Hope you all have a wonderful masquerade. I'm we sure shall. we'll meet Thank again. You. I want some water to have you drinking. <laughs> what are you drinking? Beer. Yeah, my, 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 my boss here got me a, a lovely American beer. <laughs> you get that much pep on beer. I might, I'd much rather a Guinness, but I suppose this will do. Christ of mine. You gotta be able to power that train with all that hot air. I think they like you. Train can, uh, train conductors able to drink on duty. Oh, it's always wonderful. I've met a, a couple of, uh, I met a lovely Irish lass uh, the other week, mm -hmm. and I also met, um, I met some other people from England as well. It's wonderful to see more of my uh, fellow Englishmen and, and, uh, and neighbors over here enjoying the, enjoying the new world. Yeah, it's a fair bit. A fair bit in town. All right. Yo, you want to get on the road? Yes, well, I, pre I appreciate the drink, but yeah, we, we best yeah, pop over to St. Denis. We do have to report that crap. I feel a, I feel a lot more relaxed now. Who Did the hell? Ivy Brywell, was that and I, the voice? Was that Hex? I think that's a lot chasing someone. Was that Hex? Ah! Oh! Because I, yeah, it's, uh, half the time I lurk in her one? stream, I don't have the volume on. But I was like, I think that's, yeah, because she, I knew she did an accent, but it never clicked that she was doing an English accent. All right, that's odd. Was that law? I don't think so. Maybe we should get out of town. I have a feeling something's about to happen. Well, yeah, c considering what you just told me. Maybe we should, yeah, a nice drink and move along. Like those people that came into the bar before we left. Well, some of them, you know, Mr. Bradshaw, despite his reputation, he seems like a, you know, if, as long as you're on his good side, he seems like a nice chap. 
And uh hey, yeah, I think he's more interested in the banks, less so people. Yeah. And then the other lady with the mask, she seemed nice as well. And then Miss Brightwell, well, wow, you know, being a, a fellow fellow Brit. You know, just love lovely young lady. Oh my god, is that Oh my god ah! Holy shit At least it's not red At least it's not red. What the is that the Aurora Borealis? I think it's starting to clear. Oh my god, my eyes. What the hell is that? I'm very, I think I may need to invest in some spectacles. I had spectacles and it didn't help. Oh, you heard my voice, Dex. That'd be so trippy. <laughs> Bring the crumpets. Oh, and she's like, hi, T, it is. That'd well, be so nice. No, that'd be so busy, funny. Uh, a very busy shift. This has it been. Is. Look, somehow this is becoming more. I'm learning more from this than when I worked in security for that criminal chain gang. I, I could not believe it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you always have adventures in the cross, in the way I see it, when you just. Mind your own and keep on keeping. A lot of people are racing everywhere to get to place to place. And while I do have to be quick about it when I just go roaming, a lot of things happen. Well, it's not like I just... I just wanted a moment just to catch my breath, but it's wonderful just to... It's, it's, uh, it's amazing the people you meet and the stories you hear if you yeah. just slow down. Exactly. One of the best things I do is coach service, and I meet so many people. Oh, I'd love and to. I'd look forward to doing more of those. At West, you might get robbed once or twice, but when people see that you're consistent, uh, bringing wagons around and trains at West, they won't bother you as much. Matter of fact, most of them are downright friendly to me. Well, I suppose with what I've learned, and and that, I suppose if I yeah, I can just just try and have a good chat. Try and get to know them. Show them that I'm just a simple Londoner here trying to make his way in the new world with the trains. Maybe that'll make them think twice about any tomfoolery. Exactly. I mean, most outlaws, they're not interested in bothering, you know. They're not interested in bothering you personally. They want your money. They want possessions. They don't want to hurt you. So if you, you listen to them, they'll mostly leave you be, but, you know, there are some that, you know, will give you grief, for the most part. Be fine. I will say it's rare that I have not been able to talk my way out of a situation. Or at least lessen the, the effects of, uh, of an incident. It's left here, so we turn left. Glad you said something, because I can't, couldn't see a bloody thing. Like I said, Transit Authority, you get used to it. There's a horse. No, I didn't see it at all. Why you just went down that intersection? People were hanging off of it with guns drawn. Really? I couldn't see because yes. of all the, the blinding light. Yes, they just went right down through that intersection. Which way were town. they heading? Out of town. Towards roads, do you think? Mm, could have been more towards the swamp. Oh, goodness. I going to say, I hope they're not Ooh. going to roads. Imagine with Which? We could have been seeing the start of a massive criminal masquerade party. <laughs> We're just running into things. I just just want to just want to report the, the crime we nearly experienced. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, I'll just send a tip, and I'm just going to send a detailed report in. We tried. The, the thing, we, we tried. tried. We, we did everything we could. <laughs> Have you seen the Saint Denis offices? 
Well, I suppose I better get to the uh, the office and clock off. Yeah, yeah, we'll go to the office, <coughs> clock off, and then uh, yeah, I'll probably head to head to bed myself. Oh, it was it's been a wonderful shift with you, Albert. It's no, it's been a overall, it's been a wonderful experience training with the Transit Authority. I'm but yeah, this here, what a way to what a way to wrap up and become an officer. My God. <laughs> I feel and so honest, prepared. Both shifts, this is what I experience. Even if I'm alone, it's it's what I experience both shifts. Well, at least it keeps you on your toes. It certainly does. What we're going to do is we're going to go and get lockpicks if you guys want to come with us to Strawberry. And then Good day. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Just straight up, we're going to get lockpicks and go to Strawberry. Goodbye. <laughs> we should probably. Hmm. Oh, hello. Howdy, Good, howdy. Day. Howdy. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Howdy. Morning battle tank. <laughs> so those were two gangs that just rode past us. I heard something about lockpicks, and I'm thinking. Yep. Let, let's just keep going this way. We're just gonna go this way and mind our own. And this is this is a. This feels like a very dangerous time. I just wonder, imagine if we were bringing that train around now. Yeah. We may have a lot of passengers. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think the passengers would be all that, uh, all that interested in riding. No. no not at all. I think they'd be interested in how many people we had on the train. But did you hear that? It sounds like that Miss Brightwell is going to bring a... We're going to have high tea on the train maybe sometime. That'll be nice. I think, I think she did hear loud and clear to bring crumpets. And I, I cannot cannot emphasize that enough. She definitely did. Not, Miss Brightwell usually loves riding the train. Oh, she does? Oh, lovely. I didn't recognize it was her at first. She changed her hair from last time I seen her. So I'm going to set a tip about that real quick. About the lockpicks. Yes, what is that? Lockpicks, gang, strawberry. Yeah. Yeah, that's concerning. Give them a heads up. Maybe it's a wanted gang. They'll just... Keep an eye on things. Dun 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 How much money did I make? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah it's not too bad, isn't it? It's not too, not too bad for a bit of training. Literal literal training. I always think that's a player. I don't think there's anywhere to get ch There's nowhere to get changed in here, is there? Uh, no, not yet. We're looking at getting our own little changing area chain uh, put up there. Um, but you have your apartment here, right? That's, yes. Yeah, that'll be all right. Yeah, do you have your um, your coat rack and your uh, everything like that? Yes, yes. Got my gun stored away and my... Oh, actually, I think I need to move my tobacco from my bank to my apartment.
Telegram sent. Well, uh, I sent that off to the law, so everything's been uh, taken care of. Uh, you take care of yourself, Groves. I'm yes. just don't get into any more adventures. No, that, I think that's it for me for adventures today. But uh, <laughs> I might uh, see to uh, I might run a train or something tomorrow around the same time, or uh, yeah, I might start a uh, right start some routes at uh, other times. Damn, Looking I can't for, wait. Maybe maybe within the next week, we'll I'll see uh, see what my schedule is. But I'm very excited. I can I can make it happen. Yeah, yeah, and there's going to be uh, more to come in the future. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out for any more uh, you know, group shifts, especially dealing with you know prisoners from Sisica and whatnot. It was a very, very wonderful time. Yes, uh, Sunday. Take a look at the bulletin board. Um, there is a posting for uh, not this Sunday, next Sunday. Right, I'll take a look at that, and uh, I'll let you. I'll let you all know. Uh, again, right. Flood, thank you so much for everything so far. Of course, it was an absolute pleasure, Groves. It's been wonderful, but in a way, it's you know, it feels like the end of something, but really, it's it's the beginning of something. Just the beginning. Uh, I might not see you for a week. I might be taking some time to myself, but I'll see you when I'm back. No problem. Enjoy yourself, and I'll see you when I see you. I shall. All right, you take care. You too, Flood. Till next time. Till next time. Yay! Yo, Tom Loy. What the hell? This guy is a stitch. <laughs> Oh, look out! What a great, what a great session. Even though we didn't have any passengers, it was still, I was still a lot of fun. And I'm now an officer. Now I'm now a transit officer. Let's go! How exciting! Also, hello, Tom Loy, if you couldn't hear me before. Sledgehammer! Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh, dear. I um I just became a um I just uh I literally just had my last training session today. Um so I am now an official officer with the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. I can I can now take out trains, boats, uh the Saint Denis tram uh, carriages, I can now take them out and do my own routes, um, without supervision. Oh no! I swear, I swear it just said an ad was playing, and now another one's playing? What? Are you back? That ad break in progress thing is really not reliable. Um, yeah, I just became, I just finished my last training session today, my last ride along. And I'm now, um, I'm now an officer with the Saints Crossing Transit Authority. So yeah, I can take out trains, wagons, boats, etc. Um, without supervision now. Um, I'm now officially, I'm now an official employee. How exciting. So, I'm definitely keen to still do um you know streams on weekends when lots of people are on but then now i can um on like australian nights i can i can do trains and stuff to hopefully 
hopefully give, you know, all the Oceanic players just a little extra something to do. So that'll be sweet. Oh, I think I've three left. I'm gonna have to go. Still gotta fill up my water. Yeah, I started about between ten and eleven. Cause yeah, my um my training was at uh, eleven o'clock. Um, so yeah, feels good, man. Feels good. Feels good. Ah, it's exciting. The what beta? MH what? What's MH? Uh, um, the what? Oh, nah, I tried, I tried Monster Hunter years ago. Not for me. Not for me. I, nah, not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Um, I love the art style and I love the idea, but, um, nah. Well, look, that's good timing because then I can have a little bit of lunch before I will be joining, uh, Shell Bunny. Uh, in about an hour for some games for her belated birthday stream. So I'll be there in about an hour. She's doing yeah, birthday, a late birthday stream today. So I'll be over there in about an hour. But look, unreal as well that we actually ran into Hex Steph's Ivy Brightwell character. So let's see. Um, let's go, let's go pop over there, say hi, because um, it sounds like she's keen. To have crumpets and high tea on a train sometime. Maybe she was just being polite. But very cool. But very cool. Um, thank you all for the hangs. Um, I will be back. Uh, I might be... I might stream tonight. I'll see how I'm feeling. I might have a dinner date tonight. Um, I might just do Overwatch with Hargalan and that. But I also wouldn't mind doing some more horror indie horror games. So I might stream tonight. Uh, might do some more uh, Wild RP tomorrow during the day. And maybe some more indie horror games Sunday night. Um, that's the general plan. But I appreciate all the chats and the hangs all the same. Thank you very much. And I hope everyone's having a, a great weekend so far. So I will catch you next time. Thank you very much.